Web app Alexa and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Interesting day for us. We started on the mild side, but temperatures will be in the upper 50s for this afternoon. And a little breezy, too. That north wind gusting up to 15 miles per hour. Cold night tonight. We drop into the low 30s. So feeling a bit like winter tomorrow morning. And then in the afternoon, staying chilly with partly cloudy skies and a high of 57. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit Newcomb and Company. Dot com. Three o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones is up 147 points to 38,862. Market update brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain free possibilities. Our also brought to you by Nerd Wallet. Don't make your future you hate you. Compare and find top credit cards, savings accounts, and more today with Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet, finance smarter. Rebound Woods. He'll dribble out the clock. There's the horn. It's all over. And the pack survives and advances. And the pack will survive and advance here in Washington, D.C. And the pack upsets. 11th ranked Duke, 74-69 here in the ACC quarterfinal. O'Connell with one second left wing, three on the way, makes it in! He got it! There's the horn and the pack's done it! NC State is the 2024 ACC men's basketball champion. The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I'm Tim Donnelly. Dennis Cox here along with us. We're back from D.C. where we were covering the ACC tournament, which turned into the greatest run for any one team through an ACC tournament in the conference's long and storied history. Can't dispute that. The best ACC tournament from one team in the conference's history came by way of the NC State Wolfpack. The, the, where do you start? I know where it finishes. It finishes with an ACC championship and a spot in the NCAA tournament, an 11 seed against Texas Tech and Pittsburgh. I know where it finishes. Where do we start? I think we have to start with the full season that was where we just said time and time and time again, if they can put it together. And it didn't look like – I mean, it did not look like they would. Anybody who says they saw this coming, they either – I'll put it this way. They either are part of that that team because it did seem like their their belief was on a hundred from the moment they walked into the gym in in D.C. But if it were anybody else, they're lying to you if they say they saw this coming. Just from an injury standpoint, D.J. Horn missed the opener, hip flexor. Jaden Taylor hobbled by the end, ankle. Casey Morcel groin slash cramping slash whatever he has going on. Something. D.J. Burns fatigue. Right, Every, Everybody was waiting for them to get tired, especially the big boy. Just kept waiting for him to get tired. Fought through it all. They did not get an easy draw. Right, I, I was talking with uh, Mike Glennon, uh, former NC State quarterback. Matter of fact, you can hear part of that conversation on uh, Pack Therapy Podcast, which we, we put out yesterday during Selection Sunday. And, and he said, you know, even I, like a, a state fan, right, state part of that, part of that family, uh, he was like, I was hoping Pitt upset UNC because I'm just looking at it thinking, you know, Pitt's probably an easier game in, in the championship. They they got no possible help. Every step along the way, they played the highest seeded team they could possibly play. They played the number one seed, the number two seed, and the number three seed. Five games in five days. There's six teams in the ACC that in their history have won a national championship game. Six teams that have at least one national championship trophy in their lobby. NC State is one of them. We're aware. Yep. The other five, they beat on their way to the ACC championship. They, they went Louisville first. They went Syracuse second. They went Duke third, UVA fourth, UNC fifth. That is the hardest possible path you can go from a program standpoint, and they simply lined them up, knocked them down. Let's hear from Kevin Keats on on the fight this team showed. We're 
We're getting we're getting the one second. We're getting the two second. I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the uh, the, the nice little hourglass spin wheel. I'm getting okay. that. I'm, right, getting, well, I'm getting that. While while Dennis deals with that, we'll go ahead and, uh, and and just continue. The good news is we could we could hype up this this run through the ACC championship for as much time as do, we need. I do to. have another clip ready to go. All Keats right, let's talk about how they took advantage of their opportunity. Let's do it. Let's hear from Keats. What a tournament! Uh, what a, a great opportunity that you know the guys in that locker room took advantage of. You know, when we when we, we got on the plane to come to D.C., we talked about winning one game at a time, and there would be a big picture or be a prize at the end of it. And you could tell our guys were getting a lot stronger every game that we played. It's weird because, you know, we the t- we're the team that played, and we were the one who played every game, but it seemed like every second half we got a little bit stronger than the other team. Um, Thank God for our opportunity, believing in our faith. Um, Thank all of the families. My wife is here who has supported me, Georgette, and uh, the parents of all of our players. Do you know what I've – I'm not one downplaying five games in five days. I'm hearing some, oh, they're kids. They play basketball all the time. They're young. Five games in five days, I don't know if everyone completely understands how tough that is. Because, yes, they're, they're, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 years old, and they have more energy than us 30-plus-year-olds have. I get that. But guess who they're playing against? Other 19, 20, 21, 22-year-olds who didn't play that many games in that many days. It's all relative. And until you know how much pure effort and how much your adrenaline and your mentals are – completely exhausted by playing in a, a, a heck a regular season college basketball game I think it's hard to say that anything is overrated when it comes to an actual tournament game I don't know firsthand but my roommate in college did play college basketball and just the amount of exhaustion those guys would have after a game was unreal and that wasn't the ACC tournament against a top 15 team in the country followed by two more games those those individuals on, on that NC State team, if there was ever an argument for momentum, if there ever was an argument that momentum is real, that, that you can catch a wave and ride it, that's what it was. Coaches saying they got stronger in the second half than their opponents. They had every right to be exhausted and just hold on in the second half. If they have a lead, just try to make it to the end without, without giving up the final inch. They were getting stronger. Let's hear from DJ Burns on emptying everything in the tank. Yeah, we knew that it was going to be hard. We knew that nothing about this would be easy. So we knew that we just had to get over ourselves and push it to the very absolute limit, and that's what we did. They were willing to go further than other teams were willing to go. They were willing to play through more than other teams were willing to play through. They didn't let it affect them in a way that other teams let it affect them. You can go back and listen to our show after the the NC State Duke game, right? NC State beats Duke. Talking about Duke, one of the first things we said was Jared McCain had bumped heads in in, in warm ups and had mm-hmm. to get stitches on his eye. It affected him. Even John Shire after the game said it affected him. He said he'll never admit it, but it did. Well, I'm looking at State going. Their best player didn't play in week one with a hip flexor. Their their most effective guy early in the tournament ended up hurting his ankle. Uh, the, the, like, so many things happened, and they just said, yeah, it happened, but guess what? If we lose this game, our season's over, so we might as well play through it. We might as well find a way. I did some digging kind of on the, the season, like the, the ACC tournament for some individual players for NC State versus mm-hmm. what they did in the regular season. For example, Michael O'Connor, who was Who phenomenal. did hit a pretty big shot. He made a massive shot. I don't know shot. if he called bank. Doesn't it matter. Either way. Doesn't matter. During the course of the regular season, there are three games where he scored double digit points. Three. Opening season against opening game of the season against the Citadel at Louisville on January 13th and at Virginia. 14, 11, and a 10 uh, points in those three respective games. In the ACC tournament, he went 16, 16, 12, 12, and 10. <laughs> he had four of his five best scoring games in the entire season in the ACC tournament. Also, only twice the entire season did he hit more than one three-pointer in a game. The season opened against the Citadel and at Louisville on January 13th. He had four and three uh, three-pointers made in those games. Never hit more than one in any other game the entire season. Against Syracuse, he hit three. Against Duke, he hit two. Against Virginia, he <laughs> hit two. 
So it's it's those kinds of things. Like Mo Diara, three of his top five rebounding games in terms of total rebounds were in the ACC tournament. We talked about DJ Horn a lot. He had that hot stretch run from the Miami game to the Syracuse, Syracuse game. Those six games, he had 24-plus points, twice going over 30 in that six-game stretch. In the next eight games, up until the ACC tournament, once did he go over 20 points. <laughs> once. And only and three times he had single digits. I know he'll leave game because of yeah. injury and things like that. But then he ends up doing like what he did in the in the tournament, having multiple uh, 16-point games, and then he had 29 in the championship game while playing like the last 10 minutes with four fouls. So these guys played not only to their max, but almost like above it, if that even makes sense. Well, I mean, from a team perspective, I went, I went and looked it up. The Prior to winning five games in five days in the ACC tournament, mm-hmm. they hadn't won five consecutive games all year, the entire season, longest win streak, four. Uh, and prior to this, their longest win streak against Power 5 teams, two. Yeah. The most consecutive games they won against Power 5 opponents, two. They won against five in five days. They, if, you, if you just include games against top three seeds in the ACC tournament, it was their longest win streak against Power 5 opponents all year. I mean, I guess if you only have one of those runs in you, Save it for the end. Save it for the one it, save when it, it matters most. Save it for when the chips are down. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We will have more to say about that game. Uh, plenty by the time this show is over. That we will. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Capital Buy, Sell, Trade. They're located on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh. So check them out on Instagram, at Capital BST 919. I love shopping at Capital Buy, Sell, Trade because obviously the massive selection of sneakers, vintage streetwear, you name it. But... I know a lot of people are getting those tax refund checks in right now. I'm like, ooh, got a little money to spend. Got a little extra scratch in the pocket. Had no further than Capital Buy, Sell, Trade. Again, number one sneaker store. You want to show off your fandom now that you know we've got some big-time postseason action going on? Head to Capital Buy, Sell, Trade. Find a pair of sneakers that matches your favorite team. Capital Buy, Sell, Trade. When you swing in there, let them know that Dennis sent you. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9. The fan will be back with... Nice soft landing spots for Duke and Carolina. They they may have been upset in the ACC tournament. The NCAA tournament still has them uh, as top four seeds, UNC a top seed. I, do you know what we need to make sure they do? They need to be aware that consequences are real from this point forward. I'll explain what I mean next. Hey, it's me, your future you. You made bad credit card moves. Got no rewards to use. Ugh. Should have compared cards with the nerds and got the cash back you deserve. Now you have to stand to see your favorite band while your friends all got VIP wristbands. <laughs> Don't make your future you hate you. Compare and find top credit cards today with Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet, finance smart. It's bow time. Finally, lunchtime. I'm starving. What's that? This? This? is the Bojangler from Bojangles. With the same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries. The same. Huh. Well, I've got a PB&J. Yeah, that's not the same. A crispy fish fillet dusted in Bo's famous seasoning. With cheese and tartar sauce on a fluffy bun, the Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's Bo time. There's no time like Bojangler time. Time to stop whatever you're doing and head over to Bojangles to try the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. You heard right, the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. A perfectly seasoned, light, flaky, wild-caught Alaskan Pollock Fish Filet Sandwich. For limited time at participating Bojangles. Make it a combo and add Bojangles seasoned fries and legendary iced tea. Hungry for Bojangles but in the mood for something different? Then it's Bojangler time. Want a truck? You're in luck because it's Ram Truck Month at John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. We're not talking just 5, 10, or even 15% off. We're talking 20% off all new Ram 1500s, excluding TRX and Tradesman Package. 20% off all shiny new Ram 1500s. It's time to get off your keister and get to Heaster for your new truck. We'll serve it up with personalized customer service from our team dedicated to providing a seamless buying experience. Hurry to John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram 
them in Lillington. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app today using code NEW and C. Then place your first bet of $10 or more, and win or lose, you'll receive $250 in bonus bets. Open to new users in North Carolina who are 21 or older. Terms and conditions apply. See Caesars.com backslash promos or the promos tab in the app for full terms. Gambling problem? Call 1 877 718 5543 or visit more than a game nc.gov. Tribal Casino Gaming Enterprise is a licensed operator by the North Carolina State Lottery Commission. What? New scratch offs are out? That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club, I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Ugh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Todrick. This month's tickets packed $370 million in total prizes. The Winners Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall to winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem killing helpline 877-718-5543. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Duke and UNC, for different reasons have to be aware that consequences are real in the NCAA tournament. Because both up to this point have been living in some kind of a fairy tale land. For different reasons. Not saying it's the same situation. I'm just saying they've been living in a fairy tale land. They're they're like, you know <laughs> they're like the kid whose parents keeps threatening with stuff but but never actually does punishment. I'm gonna take away your phone. I'm gonna take away your phone. And they don't stop throwing the tantrum and then, then they they're still on the phone. Let's look at UNC first. UNC is a one seed. They play the winner of a play-in game, right? They play the the, the winner of Howard versus Wagner, uh, the, which will one of them will be the 16th seed in the Spectrum Center in Charlotte. That's position A for them. It's close to home. It's a, a number one seed. It's set up perfectly. The Tar Heels stay charmed. Everything was going their way into the ACC tournament. They they had the ACC player of the year. They had the ACC coach of the year. They had the ACC regular season champ. And then they lost in the ACC championship game to a 10 seed. You would think that would come with some kind of ramifications, right? You, they were outplayed by NC State in the ACC championship game, but enough other teams lost in their tournament, and there was kind of a little, uh, you know, uh, uh, rubble left across the entire top seed landscape that they end up in position number one for them playing close to home as a one seed with not a particularly super difficult draw all right they need to know that consequences exist if you lose again you don't end up in the same position this isn't a fairy tale land if you lose again you go home just like for most teams, if they lost in their conference tournament to a team they, they felt they shouldn't have lost to, they would have dropped down a couple seeds. Maybe they would have been sent to play on the West Coast. Maybe something bad would have happened to them. If you're North Carolina, you're like, hey, no harm, no foul, right? We're right. Like, do you, I don't think North Carolina is in a different position if they win the ACC championship game, other than a little bit more happy that they brought a trophy home. It's fairy tale land. There's no consequences there. Duke, let's look at Duke. Duke is a four seed. They did get knocked down by losing to NC State. I think if they would have won the ACC championship, they probably would have been a two seed, right? So there was a little bit of, of consequence there, a little bit. 
But Brooklyn is a pretty good landing spot for Duke, right? They'll get to pretend like they have to go on the road and earn their way, but really it's a home game. Nice little home game, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but if we're being honest. Let's be real. Got a late tip, I think. Uh, number 13, Vermont. Nothing to be super scared about. I wouldn't take them lightly, but you can at this point. In time. I have, Vermont's been in the NCAA tournament quite a bit. Very good program. American Underrated East. program. Yes. They've, they've been there a lot. But there's no more for them downplaying their loss. We've heard it for the last few weeks, right? They lost uh, against North Carolina in the final regular season game. What did we hear? Well, that's, that's just a regular season game. We have bigger plans. We have bigger goals, right? They were talking about the ACC and the NCAA championship. That's, that's how they spun it, right? Are we disappointed? Yeah, but that's not really what we're playing for. Then they went to the ACC tournament, and they were one and done, right? They showed up. They played one game. They lost. They went home. That game was to a 10-seed uh, NC State team. After the game, what did we hear? Well, as you're going to hear from Jeremy Roach uh, in a second, the goal is more than just the ACC tournament. They downplayed the loss. Here's Roach. We can show our own destiny. And like I said, um, we came here for something bigger. And we, we're not really playing for ACC championships and stuff like that. But, I mean, obviously it's, it's great to get an ACC championship, but uh, we came for something bigger, and that's Phoenix. So. Jared said he felt like, or the team in general, there was a lot of struggles that you experienced in the Carolina game that carried over to tonight. Yeah. How frustrating is that, that you guys probably tried to work on it and it just didn't translate on the court? Uh, it was very frustrating, but like I said, it's in our control to do what we got to do. I see where we end up in, in the tournament. Um, we got we to just go from there. I mean, we can't, can't really do all on this. I mean, I kind of think back to my sophomore year when we lost in the, in the championship. Uh, like that year, we didn't come to just win the ACC championship. We came to get to the national championship. We made a hell of a run. So I think we're kind of in that same predicament right now. That audio gathered by our very own Dennis Cox in the postgame locker room after Duke's loss. The goal is more than just the ACC tournament. We're playing for bigger things. Well, you can only, that spin zone only travels so far. If you lose to UNC in the regular season finale, that's not what we were playing for. If you lose to NC State in the ACC tournament, that's not what you were playing for. There's no consequences here. That wasn't the goal. Downplay, downplay. If you lose in the NCAA tournament, there's no more deflecting. There's no more downplaying. Now the, you're playing for keeps. There's no, well, I was just a scrimmage. There's no, well, that didn't really count. There's no, well, we don't really we don't really worry about that. Both of these teams for different reasons, right? North Carolina, I believe, has been the better team. Duke has been the more underwhelming team. But both of them need to understand that from this point forward, it, it's the, the, the money is real. From this point forward, the stakes are real. There's no more, no harm, no foul for North Carolina. You lose a game, it's not, yeah, you'll still be a one seed. You get upset by a team that's a double-digit seed, like you did in the ACC tournament, there's no more, well, that's fine, you'll still play close to home in Charlotte. For Duke, you lose, you can't walk up there and say, well, that loss really didn't hurt, because that's not what we were going for. Now it is what you're going for. Now the stakes are real. Now if either of you lose, it becomes catastrophic. And, and you, you know how a first weekend exit stings. There's no avoiding that. There's no consolation prizes. There's no goodie bags. And, and there's no participation trophies. There, actually, there are some teams, and, and heck, we may even talk about it, some of them here today, uh, that you know, making the, AC, the NCAA tournament is kind of like, a, like a, a trophy in and of itself. Oh, yeah. There are teams that, that have not made it very often, and they, they might hang a banner that just says NCAA tournament participant. Duke and UNC are not one of them. Different standard. Different standard, and, and they've gone here different ways. Four seed, one seed, playing close to home, playing in Brooklyn. It doesn't matter what it is now. You better win. You better make it to Elite Eight. Elite Eight? Minimum, minimum sweets. I've minimum? Seen. <laughs> yeah, second weekend minimum. Now the, the chips are down, and there's no way you can uh, spin zone this after. Sometimes we play the spin zone game. Oh, right? yeah. Love where it's like, spin zone. It's like, hey, let's, let's look at this from a different perspective. Sometimes my favorite part about sports – is there is a scoreboard and there is no spin zone, right? Either at the end of the game you look up and you see you have more points than they do or they have more points than you do, and that dictates everything around your program. 
That's how it is, right? When UNC lost to, to NC State, you could say like, well, yeah, but we're still going to be a one seed. They're going to be an 11 seed, right? When Duke loses to NC State, you could say, yeah, well, but we're a program that talks national championships, not ACC championships. You can spin zone it. No more spin zones starting on Thursday. Actually, Tuesday, tomorrow with the first round games. No more spin zone once the NCAA tournament gets started. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Check them out online, deepriversportingclays.com. I don't know about you guys, this weather outside, I know that the pollen is a little bit unbearable right now, but thinking about all the warm weather that we have happening here in the state of North Carolina, I'm looking out to get out to get to Deep River Sporting Clays. Once again, I'm going to say that one more time more clear. I'm looking to get back out to Deep River Sporting Clays and shooting school because every single time I've been there, it's been an absolutely fun time. Whether you go out on the target range, whether you go out and check out their 13 uh, spot course that's on their wonderful 65-acre area just outside of Sanford, there's so much that Deep River Sporting Clays has to offer you, but I guarantee anytime you go there, you will have a good time, and it's an experience that you will remember and you will want to have again and again and again. So think about it more than just a place to shoot. Think about it as a great opportunity to go have uh, a birthday party, bachelor party, corporate event, you name it. They have something out there for you and loved ones. Again, whether it's the shooting school, the outdoor pavilions, the fire pit, you name it. Check them out online, deepoversportingclays.com. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I, I said this weekend how awesome our job is because the ACC tournament's going on might be the best story that we've seen in a while, a five, five games in five-day run, upsets, drama, everything. Oh, and meanwhile, the Canes are on a hot streak, going 2-0 and over the weekend with every bit of drama, every bit of story, every bit of narrative that you could possibly have. The Canes, 2-0 and over the weekend. Why both games were absolutely necessary for the Canes to make a run through this postseason. I'll tell you why next. At Bet365, they don't do ordinary. They believe that every sport should be epic. Every point, every game, every layup, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a three-pointer at the buzzer to tie the game or a player goes two for two at the free throw line. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. At Bet365, official partner of the Charlotte Hornets. 21 plus only. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc. Hey, hey, what do you say? John Forsland here for my friends at Buffalo Brothers. What a great time for sports. The college hoops tournament in hockey is in the home stretch. I call games in Seattle and around the country. But when I'm back in the triangle, I head right to Buffalo Brothers. Make sure you visit Buffalo Brothers for all the big games. Always great specials like half-price appetizers Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 6. Dine in, carry out at all five triangle locations and online at buffbrothers.com. Aw, oh, man. Now I want wings. Hey guys, sound familiar? Your energy's not the same. The weight's starting to creep up. You're a little forgetful. And to make matters worse, you're not sleeping well. Well, it could be low T, but you shouldn't go one more day dealing with these symptoms. Help is available at QC Kinetics. They'll help diagnose the issue and get you back to feeling like yourself again. QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. They use biologic treatments encouraging your body to optimize the hormone levels you need to boost stamina, provide more mental clarity, and improve your metabolism. It starts with a complimentary consultation and comprehensive exam. One quick office visit, and you'll have next steps to swing those hormone levels back into balance. All using the protocols QC Kinetics is known for around the country. Most importantly, you'll be back to yourself, and that's important. So call right now for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. Located in Raleigh, 919-400-5473. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox, Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, 
your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. Now here comes Gensel stepping in. Gensel shoots. He scores! His first in regulation for Carolina. And the Canes pouring it on the Senators here in the third. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9 the fan. The two games over the weekend for the Canes, exactly what the doctor ordered. Necessary, quintessential, whatever you want to call them. They were both perfect for setting this team up for a postseason run, which has to be number one and only on their priority list. Get ready for the run to the postseason. Once you make those all-in moves at the deadline, it's about winning the cup. That's what it's about. So let's look at the two games, right? First, they're down 3-0 to Toronto and come back to win. You're down three zippy, and you come back to win, that's a unifying win. Need two goals from from Ajo to tie the game right there at the end. Final what, two minutes? Minute 30. Minute Minute 32. I was being generous. Uh, That's a unifying win. That's a unifying move. Needing Jake Gensel, the new guy, to score the game winner in the shootout, That's a unifying move. You need to go through a few of those games to come together, right? Once the new guys are there, you need the games where where you have to uh, bind yourselves together and and show mental fortitude in the face of, of overwhelming adversity and obstacles, and you need to go through a few of those games. You need to. And it was good for Ajo to be the leader of it, right? For Ajo to come through, for the new guys to follow, right? It was good for Gensel to earn a couple stripes with his shootout goal, but it it was very much a situation where you need to go through a few games that feel, you know, yeah, there are three periods, an overtime period in a shootout, but but it feels like they were four weeks long, right? When When you're done with the game, it feels like it started on Monday and ended on Saturday. It feels like you went through a battle with each other because you're gonna have to go through battles in the in the postseason. You need a few of those. And then what happens next? Then you get a happy day against Ottawa, right? Then you get 7-2. Then you get six different guys with multiple points. Then you get new guys scoring, old guys scoring, new guys getting assists, old guys getting assists, and everybody comes. It's a direct enforcement. Uh, Obviously, throughout throughout my career, and, and as you do in media, I've talked with a bunch of coaches. I've talked with coaches at a bunch of different levels. And always there's, particularly with new coaches, right? You take over a program, you take over a team. There's a moment, usually during your first season, where you love seeing certain successes because it reinforces what you're asking players to do, right? It's like, hey, I ask these guys to work ridiculously hard. I ask them to believe in what I'm teaching them. I ask them to... to, um, you know, buy into my system, all those sorts of things. So when they start seeing success, it's like I'm so happy we're seeing it because it, it gives me credibility, right? So now I can ask them to work harder. Now I can ask them to do more difficult things. I can ask them to do more unorthodox things because it's like, hey, remember I asked you to do that one thing and then we started having success? Now I'm going to ask you to do something else. And you're going to trust me that more success is coming and it's that little prophecy and bing, 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 it bounces back and forth until eventually you could walk in and be like, guys, we're only eating lemons this week. And everyone's like, I be- <laughs> all right. I mean, I don't want to, but everything you've told me up to this point has led to, to uh, you know, winning games and scoring points and more money for all of us. So, so uh, be it. all right, I'm going to pucker up a bunch this week, but I guess I'm eating only lemons. It's a, it's validation. It is. It's validation for it's validation for the guys that were brought in for those guys individually in terms of, yeah, what I was brought here to do, I can do it. And it's validation for the organization. Yeah, the, the thing we asked them to do when we brought them in, they're doing it. So validation for everybody. Exactly. So you know when they were working on 
trading for Gensel or when they got Gensel here for the first time or Kuzi or whoever, they they sold him on playing next to Ajo, right? I know you know he's good from playing against him. I know you think you know him, but there's something special about this guy, right? There's He he understands the moment. He knows how to make it happen. So then he scores the two goals to, to uh, you know, force overtime and eventually win a game, and it's like immediate – See, now I can tell them to trust Aho even more, right? Now I can tell them, all right, you can follow this guy just like you followed Sid. Is it exactly the same? No. Am I putting him in the same category? No, at least not yet. But it's reinforced just like that. Mm -hmm. And then the same is true in reverse, right? It's like, hey, why'd we bring in Gensel? Well, we we need a, a sniper, right? We need a goal scorer. We need somebody that's extremely comfortable beating the goalie. So you put him out there with a chance to win the game in a shootout. And what does he do? I mean, that was not luck. The pump fake, the touch, the finesse, the creativity of that shootout goal is is then you you immediately turn to the guys that have been around a while and go, see? Yeah. What I told you about this guy. What what I tell you. It's just reinforcement all over the place. And then you come back on Sunday, right? And it's just you get a goal and you get a goal. And look at Dmitry Orlov with four points. Like it's just it's just one of those days where everything's going right. And there's a lot of see what I tell you. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of remember how hard it was yesterday? Look how easy it is now. See what I tell you. All of that, every last bit of it, the close, hard fought, scratch and claw, coming from behind, depending on your guys in the clutch win, and the seven goals, the cruising win. Both are unifying in a way that builds trust, builds credibility, and then they're going to need to lean on that in the postseason. Because they're going to be asked to do things in the postseason, right? The new guys are going to be asked to trust the old guys. The old guys are going to be asked to trust the new guys. They're going to be asked to uh, not give up when they're down in a game. They're going to be asked not to give up when they're down in a series. And there's going to be a lot of built up, hey, remember that game where we were down all those goals and we came back to win? Hey, remember that game where where you had to trust that even with a minute 30 left, Aho could bail us out and then his line could bail us out? Yeah, I'm going to ask you to do that again right now because it's the postseason, we don't have a choice, and I have the credibility for you to believe me. And then on top of that, the moves are working. We're going to talk about it later on, but there's also just kind of an X's and O's element of guys are fitting together. Dmitry Orlov maybe the best example of uh, once he understood what the Canes were asking him of, he's been so much better. Chatfield, his his partner back there, uh, have been playing off each other real well. Let's hear from from Rod Brindamore on how well the Orlov and Chatfield pairing is working. Well, they were solid, and you know your good observation there before the game about Orly, like he's been playing really well. Um, he's got a heavy shot, and tonight we're you know able to see that. So he's been you know he's been coming along. He hasn't really gotten any breaks, right? Like, he's had a lot of good opportunities, and I think maybe hopefully this kind of springboards him because he has been playing well. He's got a heavy shot. Everything that guy does seems heavy, right? <laughs> yeah, he's built like a fire hydrant. <laughs> I was, that's the way it was described, especially during the preseason. I've heard fire hydrant. I've heard Coke machine. I've yeah. heard freezer. Uh Anything heavy, but he can move, though. anything heavy, wide, and difficult to move, I've heard him described as as that. Uh, he hits heavy, and and you know I, I played football. I know guys like that where it's like you're moving. Like some guys, they could be moving the exact same speed, they could be hitting the exact same angle, and one you like you're just more likely to get the breath knocked out of you than the other. Yeah, and there's really no explanation for it other than like he's. I don't know. He's more dense than he is. Yeah. Right? They could be the same height, same weight, same everything. Yeah, Orlov has a heavy shot. Orlov has a heavy shoulder. Orlov has a heavy hip. Orlov has a heavy everything. And and it's just it's it's good. And then Chatfield is the polar opposite of it, and it's kind of a uh, yin and yang fit together like puzzle pieces. Uh, right, a, a more skinny guy, more speed oriented, but they're covering for each other, and it allows Orlov to go up there and you know shoot. I don't think it can be understated. 
the fact that Kuznetsov being in the locker room because mm. he and Orlov have known each other since they were 16 years old. They, they, they like, did long a, before they even got into the NHL. They've known each other for a long time. They even did like a post game interview with Hannah Yates on the TV broadcast yesterday. But you could tell like their relationship together and how much those guys enjoy being around each other. It's like ah, my best friend is mm. now with us during all of this. They, they it, did that interview great. and it was it was like six year olds that are best friends when like the teachers like you guys are talking too much and it's like. Before either of them talk, they have to giggle for four seconds. Yeah. Just like, hee hee, <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. It's it's just, it's, you know, it's it's refreshing. And maybe Orlov needed that little bit of a boost. Maybe he just, you know, um, <laughs> ready for a movie reference? I always got one. Right. Uh, have you ever seen Trouble with the Curve? It's no. a, It's a movie where Clint Eastwood is a baseball scout. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. And okay. ironically, Justin Timberlake, also a baseball scout. And even more ironically, uh, I think it's Amy Adams is the best baseball scout out of all of them, and she's not a baseball scout. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but there's a moment where um, the, right, the big brass, right, the, the, like, the hot shot executive is saying, this player stinks, we're going to give up on him. And Clint Eastwood, in his grizzly voice, says, like, bring his mom into town. And, and right, it was like he hadn't seen his parents in four months, and they brought his parents in for a, a, a trip for a weekend or whatever, and suddenly the guy's hitting like 520 in double A. Uh, maybe Orlov just needed that, right? You just need to see, see a familiar face for a little bit. Bada boom, bada bang, two goals, two assists. You're, you're back to being the Orlov that we saw. Uh, it, we were in D.C. this weekend covering the ACC championship game. You walk around Capital One Arena, the home, home of the, uh, the Caps, you see Orlov and Kuznetsov uh, all over the place because they have pictures of the team holding up the trophy and celebrating their their cup from 2018 or whatever it was. Uh, so if you get that Orlov and that Kuzi, could be a could be a a boom for the uh, the old Carolina Hurricanes. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdogs. Well, no, sports betting has arrived here in the state of North Carolina, and Underdog is entering the game. That's right. North Carolina gets Underdog Sportsbook first. Now, Underdog has been working hard behind the scenes to make sure they're creating an app that is user-friendly for you, using their own technology for you, the sports fan. The result of it, it's a simple Fresh experience with straightforward language that fans can understand and a design that's clean and it's also very appealing. As someone who's used Underdog, they actually kind of give you the option of how you actually want the screen to display. Like, do you want the traditional plus minus, you know, for you know for player props and you know teams winning, or do you want to do like, hey, how much if how much is this going to boost my winnings? Like, be one time, two times, three times, you name it. Underdog Fantasy actually gives you that. I'm uh, saying Underdog Sportsbook actually gives you that opportunity as well. So now you are ready to get into the game. Download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code Dennis. That's my name, and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to one thousand dollars as bonus funds if your first bet loses. Simple as that. Got a lot of basketball coming up. I don't know about you. I'm putting some money on some games, but you can do that with Underdog Sportsbook. Again, that's Underdog Sportsbook, promo code Dennis. You can use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. Must be 21 or over to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call one 877 718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Everyone today is talking about North Carolina State's run through the ACC tournament. Five games in five days. The one, the two, the three seed all go down at the hands of the Wolf Pack. Don't let that run through the ACC tournament make you overlook the fact that NC State beat UNC in the championship game. We look specifically at that game, one out of the five, coming up next. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, With the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. 
Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock. Example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mat credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4 Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys. Did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Our state's future begins with our students. That's why the North Carolina Education Lottery has contributed over $10 billion to education. Through scholarships, school construction, support staff, and pre-K programs, lottery dollars move our state forward, helping students become the best versions of themselves. Visit movingncstudentsforward.com and share how your student or school community has benefited for a chance to earn $2,000 for your story. Must be 18 to play. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. This is Gordon Miller for Miller Lending and Carey. 2023 has been a year to forget for those looking to buy or refinance their home. With rates at the highest level in 16 years, homeowners have been faced with the reality that their timing could not have been worse. The exact same scenario I first dealt with back in 1987 when I stumbled across a way to use a no-closing-cost loan as a workaround. With no cost of any kind, my borrowers simply closed at the current rates, but as soon as rates fell, I closed them again. Two closings, zero costs, and I never looked back. Now fast forward 37 years and Miller Lending continues to help you avoid the pain of bad timing and higher closing costs. So knowing all that, I have one question. With the likelihood of lower rates in 2024, why would you choose to pay upwards of $10,000 to close on rates we haven't seen since 2007? So before you throw away thousands of dollars in needless fees, pick up the phone and call Miller Lending for your no-cost loan today. In Cary, 919-447-3377, or simply apply online at MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, NMLS number 250 2146. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Don't let the awesome fact that NC State ran through the entire ACC tournament and beat five teams in five days and appeared to get stronger as the tournament went on and beat the number one seed, the number two seed, the number three seed, beat two different top 15 teams in the country. Don't let that maybe save their coach's job and turn it into a contract extension. Don't let that, DJ Burns being the MVP of the tournament, don't let that distract you from the fact that NC State beat UNC in the championship game. Don't just talk about it in terms of this whole run. Don't just talk about it in terms of Tuesday through Saturday. Make sure you talk about just Saturday. The rivalry of it is a thing. It is. I've talked to NC State fans that said they noticed on Sunday at the Little League baseball fields there were more NC State parents wearing their NC State hats than usual. I talked to somebody who uh, lived in a divided household, meaning there were some NC State grads, some UNC grads, and uh, they were actually praising people in their family for keeping it locked in and maybe not rubbing it in the face as aggressively because it may have caused some family uh, uh, tension. And then there was the opposite end. I talked to somebody who said they had a family member that went to NC State who uh, was, was tempted to make bumper stickers that said something vulgar towards the opposite team. The rivalry of it, it does, like, beating your rival in an ACC championship game after they beat you twice in the regular season, it does make it sweeter. It does. And the reverse is true. It does make it more bitter when it happens against you. It does make it sting a little more. But even taking away the rivalry element of it, NC State a team that is an 11 seed in the NCAA tournament, a team that came in well outside the projections of the NCAA tournament, beat the fourth-ranked team in the country who had looked like the best team in the tournament from the moment they showed up in D.C. We can vouch for that because we were there. 
They are a number one seed in the NCAA tournament still. They still, UNC, still has the ACC Coach of the Year, the ACC Player of the Year, and the ACC regular season title, and NC State beat that team. And it's not like North Carolina had an overwhelmingly bad day. R.J. Davis and Armando Baycott had their fastball working, particularly in the first half. Mm -hmm. And NC State held their own the entire game. At no point in time did it look like they didn't belong there. At no point in time did it look like they weren't in some form of control of the game. They weren't kind of pulling away. When they needed a bucket, D.J. Horn was there. Whether he had one foul, two foul, three fouls, or four fouls, when they needed a bucket, he was there. They put him in with over 10 minutes left and four fouls. And the very first thing, the fifth-year senior, local kid, has 919 tattooed on him, said he did it for the city. The very first thing he did with four fouls and over 10 minutes left was grab it on the left wing, make an aggressive move, drive to the bucket, absorb contact, finish anyway, flex for the crowd, and one. When they needed a bucket, DJ Burns was there. Now, DJ Burns, he does the DJ Burns thing, right? We know what the DJ Burns thing is. He's bigger, heavier than everyone else on the floor, and he leans on you, and he leans on you, and he leans on you, and then as soon as you completely brace yourself to stop it, he spins, and he and he pulls the chair out from under you a little bit. He, get, he uses judo, right? Gets your momentum working against you, and then he's on the other side of you throwing up a, a soft touch left-handed baby hook, and, and he just does it all the time. But do you know what was different th- this weekend? His facial expressions. Mm-hmm. When they did the slow motion of the big guy working, his face wasn't wasn't jovial. His face was like, Rrr. he had gritted teeth. He he was he, he was straining. He was working hard. And maybe it's it's a, a compliment to him that he doesn't always have to do that. But he he absolutely was this weekend. He absolutely was. They to me. They got better as the tournament went along, and and everyone wants to talk about the run. To me, they finally perfectly clicked against UNC. Yeah. Uh, that might be the last, literal, last possible moment they could have done it, but that was the first time it felt like the roster played the way they thought the roster should have when they assembled it in in August, right? When they got all those transfers together, and I know like they probably had a bigger role for MJ Rice in mind, maybe, but but the guys that were there played the roles that that it felt they were supposed to play and everyone executed for the first time. Yeah. Do you know what name we haven't said all show yet? Who? Mo Diara. Oh, Diara was awesome. I love everything about that guy's tournament. He set an ACC record for most rebounds in the ACC tournament. And you know what? Over 70. If you would have told me he doubled the record, I'd be like, yeah, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> he was everywhere awesome and and a lot of it was effort so he he would grab the ball and and right especially if he was in traffic if there were other guys swiping and stuff he would he would tuck it like a football player and start spinning and it was just like i don't think he's gonna give that up if if he was getting mugged like like this guy is gonna leave this scrum with the ball whether the 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 refs blow the whistle, whether there's a court storming situation, whether the timeout is called, he's gonna walk away with that ball. And then more often than not, he did. Blocking shots. There are a few times, you know, it, it was you know one of my favorite calls, and, and uh, I, I, it's uh, Bobby Kern was the voice of the University of Hawaii when I lived in Hawaii. So this is a Bobby Kern call. Shout out to Bobby. Um, my dad and, and I were listening, driving back from maybe school or something, in the car to a Hawaii basketball game. And this was word for word exactly what he said. I'm not mincing anything. There's the steal. He's going to have an uncontested layup, partially blocked. And we were like, how, like, how is that even possible? Yeah. <laughs> how is an uncontested layup partially blocked? Inspector Gadget come out of here? Like, what? <laughs> and, and for 25 years, I didn't know what he meant. A few times this weekend, I saw it. I saw somebody on the opposing team beat their man, and it was a clear path to the bucket. And I was like, look at this. He's going to get a wide-open layup. And then Mo Diara blocked it. And I'm like, wait, 
that help the I don't know if the help defense was late. I don't know if he was baiting him into it. I don't know where I don't know if he jumped off the sideline with the photographers and just popped out and blocked a shot and no one noticed. But Mo Diara came out of nowhere to save the day a bunch. Which is one thing against Louisville. It's one thing against Syracuse. It's another when you're saving the day against RJ Davis, the ACC player of the year. Harrison Ingram, one of my favorite players in the ACC this year. Armando Baycott, a, a walking, active, eligible legend for the North Carolina Tar Heels. He was doing it against those guys. Mm-hmm. That's the part that I don't want to miss. When you when when you say five games in five days, it kind of feels like each of those games was equal. A few of those were way more impressive. And being the better team against UNC, despite all their accolades, despite their want for the, the, you know, to check off all the boxes, regular season, ACC tournament, NCAA tournament, all the awards. NC State was the better team on the floor. There are games where, you know, you're looking at it going, Nah, they won, but that other team, they, they they were the better team. This was not one of those games. It was not a, a like, lucky upset. We, we could talk about maybe the UVA game being that way. I'm not sure Michael O'Connell called bank, but but doesn't matter. But the UNC game was was not that. It was a, a game NC State deserved to win. We said it, like, earlier in the day when we had a, a staff meeting. It looked like the NC State team we, we expected this mm-hmm. entire season. It's like, ah, we were hoping there they are. are. There they are. And and it was kind of like that, oh, right? It was it was like, it, it was in there. It's you ready for a Marvel reference? Yes. It's when uh, uh, spoiler alert for everybody that hasn't seen Endgame. Uh, You've had five years. Go on. Well, you know, five years can go away in a snap. Um, huh, see that? Huh, see that reference? Um, when Captain America holds Thor's hammer, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh. I knew that was in there, but now they I knew they were worthy. It's like watching NC State hoist the trophy. It's like, I didn't know if it was going to happen, but I knew they had the potential. They finally put it all together. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Earlier today, I finally got to realize a different kind of dream. I got to go, and you all can as well, to the very first day of the Nightdale Academy Sports and Outdoors being opened. I'm Tim Donnelly for my friends over at Academy Sports and Outdoors. It's here. We proudly invite you to the new Academy Sports and Outdoors store now open at 216 Hinton Oaks Boulevard in Nightdale. Come be one of the first to see the new store with the best in sports equipment, outdoor gear, clothing, shoes, all at low prices. Check out Academy's wide selection of brands like Nike. Earlier today, I went into the store with kind of a budget that I thought was good for a pair of shoes. Guess what happened? I walked out of there with two pairs of Nikes. So I went in thinking one, but they have some grand opening deals. They have some cool stuff going on. They always have low prices. I walked out of there with two sets of Nikes. You can do the same. But also, Adidas, Brooks, Carhartt, Blackstone, Yeti, Titleist, Shimano, and more. Don't miss all the grand opening fun this Friday, March 22nd through Sunday, March 24th. The deals and giveaways are going to be going on all weekend. Uh, The first 150 customers in line when the store opens Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's 150 each day. Uh, that are 18 and over get a free mystery gift card with over 15,000 in total weekend prizes being given away. Shop grand opening deals on the best brands in sports and outdoor gear. Plus, get a free gift uh, when you participate in their store in store treasure hunt. Who doesn't love a good treasure hunt? Plus, more fun in store. It's all at Academy Sports and Outdoors at their brand new Nightdale location. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it is time for football at four. A couple of big-name wide receivers reportedly visiting with the Panthers. Do you want them? Mike Williams, Michael Gallup, next. What? New scratch-offs are out? That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club. I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Oh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Todrick. This month's tickets packed $370 million in total prizes. The Winners Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. And you know, we're constantly looking for ways to serve you better. One of the ways we do that is with something we call a go-see. And that's where you select a vehicle from our inventory, and we have thousands, and we get one of our product specialists to bring that vehicle to you at your convenience. How do we do that? Well, it's simple. 
We have a group of employees that are evaluated based on the number of presentations they do. They're glad to do it. So it's just one more way we get off our keister and bring Heaster to you. This is the time of year to enjoy life, isn't it? Everything's starting to bloom. Well, stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine, and I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. Adam Gold here, and this is a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joints tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk and run and climb and play and do anything you want pain-free. No pain pills, no surgery, all natural solutions. Live your best life this spring and summer. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 919-400-5473. 919-400-5473. Four locations. Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. QC Kinetics. What makes Wendell Falls so special? Town Square, fresh air. Welcome homes, room to roam, a creatively crafted community. Fly by this weekend for spring open house tour. Visit WendellFalls.com. Equal housing opportunity. You know, for some people, the first time they tried a New York City bagel, it was a life-changing event. Same can be said for New York cheesecake. Incredible stuff. But here's what really changed my life about a dozen years ago. Travers LASIK. Dr. Lori Travers changed my life. I was about 2250 in terms of vision. Couldn't do anything without glasses or contacts. Then, about five minutes per eye later, utterly painless 2020 vision. Dr. Lori Travers is the only LASIK specialist in the area, and she made it easy. Zero percent financing for 24 months is available and you actually save money in the long run when you consider everything that glasses and contact lenses cost you over time think about the convenience that's right i just wake up and go dr Lori travers travers lasik 919-510-6830 get your free consultation you can set it up online traverslasik.com 919-510-6830 traverslasik.com See what you've been missing. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness. Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Even though we started mild this morning, our temperatures have been dropping and will continue to do so. We'll see 58 for temperature mid to late afternoon and then much colder overnight tonight with lows in the low to mid 30s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies and it stays chilly with a high of 57. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Four o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones is up 75 points to 38,000. 790 market update brought to you by the good feet store ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle come to the good feet store and experience the difference discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities let's move the chains time for football at four the drive with tim donnelly 99.9 the fan if you're paying attention to the free agency movers and shakers out there, you know, Mike Williams, big time wide receiver from the LA Chargers on the schedule to visit the Panthers this week. Go on. You know, Michael Gallup, one time number two wide receiver for the high flying Cowboys. Okay. On the, the schedule to visit the Panthers this week. You know what I'm doing? What's that? I'm like the the here's he, the friend in the movie right after the main character like gets divorced and I'm just going go out there play the field we're going to the club tonight we're reintroducing 
I'm telling the Panthers, flirt with everybody. Flirt with everybody. Go talk to every receiver you can. Let's go have fun. Talk to them. Why? They're going to be in town? Take them to dinner. I won't judge you. You know what I will judge you on? What's that? It's who you sign. I'm not going to judge you on who you talk to. No, of course. This is one. This one, go, go uh, you know, sow your oats, right? Go nuts. Go crazy. Go out there. Have a good time. No judgment. Judgment-free zone. If you propose to one of them, I'm going to judge you. That's that's where I stand with the wide receiver market right now. They should chat with these guys. They need wide receivers desperately. So go find out what people are looking for. They shouldn't automatically bring them in and offer them a deal just because the player is interested. Right? Have a little bit more self-respect than that. Don't just say, oh, you want to play here? Here's the millions of dollars. How much do you want? Don't, don't be desperate, but go out there and play the field. If I'm looking at Mike Williams, Mike Williams would have to be cheap and be willing to take a short-term deal. Why? Because he's an injury-prone receiver that'll be 30 in October, and I don't think he's a perfect schematic fit for what Bryce Young wants to do long-term. That's not to say he might not be the best of the options available right now, but I'm not locking him up to say he's better than the options next season or the next season or the next season. Michael Gallup better have a clean, I mean flawless, bill of health if you're going to make any kind of long-term offer or any kind of offer at all. Why? Because they need him to be the deep threat. They have Adam Thielen to be a possession guy on comebacks and digs and deep crossers. They have Deontay Johnson to be the get-open-now guy. They need someone to be way down the field that can catch. I had to add that can catch when when because DJ Chark was here. He could be way down the field. Oh, oof. Don't get me started. So Michael Gallup, if you're going to bring him in, he better show that he's the Michael Gallup of like five years ago and not the Michael Gallup that we've seen be uh, limited in his role with, with the Dallas Cowboys. But again, take him to dinner. Talk to him. Spend a little bit of money. Right? Yeah. I'm the friend telling you to flirt with everybody. Take him to the NCAA tournament game. There you go. The Spectrum Center. I'm going, that lady down at the end of the bar is looking at you. Don't look now. I said don't look. All right, fine. Go talk to her. Like, that's that's me right now. You need wide receivers. Why not talk to them all? You know what else you should do? Be at every wide receiver's pro day. Every oh, single. Yeah. Be at Texas's pro day for the two wide receivers there. Be at LSE. You're not going to get uh, neighbors where you're picking, but why not go check it out? And Brian Thomas, uh, you know, you're not going to get him either, but go see it. Go to Michigan. Go to Oregon. Go to uh, South Carolina. Go to North Carolina. Go to all of the pro days and talk to all of the receivers. Bring them in for top 30 visits. You have six picks. You get 30 visits. Talk to all the receivers. I'll judge you based on who you sign. I'll judge you based on who you draft. I'm not going to judge you based on who you talk to. And you need pass catchers. Heck, talk to all the tight ends. See if I care. I care. I like. I care as far as I hope you're turning over every stone, right? It'd be weird if you talk to one guy, right? I care in in that. Like, yeah, bring Mike Williams in. There are things I don't think about. I don't think are perfect fits with Mike Williams, but you know, let me know the investment. I'll, I'll put it this way: I don't think what Deontay Johnson brings to the table was exactly what the the Panthers were looking for. But when you can get Deontay Johnson for Dante Jackson and a pick swap, suddenly I'm much more on board with the Deontay Johnson trade. Suddenly I'm much more on board with like, you know, he has flaws, but for the price. So maybe there's a situation like that. I might be saying like, you know, I don't know, Gallup, he's a little older, a little injury prone, maybe he's not there. But if it's like, yeah, it's going to cost the league minimum, I'm going to go, you know what? I actually really like Michael Gallup. He could be a a mentor for somebody like uh, Jonathan Mingo. Talk to him all, like see what they're expecting. Because sometimes, you you know, sometimes you bring in a Gallup and you're like, you probably want to be like a top three wide receiver, right? Maybe he's like, you know what? At this point, I'm looking to add four more years to my career and pass on the knowledge that I've, that I've gained and, and I understand due to X, Y, and Z, my market isn't going to be what, what it was a couple years ago. And as soon as you hear that kind of introspective and self-awareness, you're like, actually, you know what? I think there is a, a room, a spot for that guy in our wide receiver room. 
But the Panthers should talk to everybody. It's part like it's part of the the fun of being a rebuilding team is you kind of need everything. Right? If you're the Chiefs, you're like we need two specific things. We have room for nothing else. It doesn't make sense for us to talk to everybody because most people are just on the surface, not a fit from the jump. Yeah, you can be a lot more selective and you, when and you're you have that position. To be. You can waste a lot more time looking at everything if there's like two needs, right? You ever do, actually, you know what it is? And I know this one because I get stuck in it every time. Uh, if I go to the supermarket and I need to do like a couple hundred dollars of, of – grocery shopping like it's one of those days you open the refrigerator and you have like you know two sprites and a and an old like a, a chick-fil-a sauce and you're just like ah this one you open the, the you open the cupboard and and you're like empty you, there's a couple ba- boxes that are empty and you're like why didn't i throw these out when i emptied them and you're like you know what? i gotta go do grocery shopping it's gonna be a ton guess what you do you go up and down every aisle right you do the the s curve mm-hmm. all the way through and you're tossing stuff in the in the the, the grocery cart but then there's times where you go and you're like, I need milk and I need eggs. Guess what you don't do? You don't go up and down every aisle, right? You just stay on the edges. You get the milk. You get the eggs. You head back to the car. The, the Panthers right now are grocery shopping and they need everything. So go up and down the aisle. Look at it. Take something off the shelf. Look at the ingredients. Put it back, right? Oh, I didn't realize how much sugar was in this. Put it back. Do the whole thing. I hope they clip coupons. <laughs> yeah, well, they, 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 they have to do that also. Yeah, they're going to have to do that. If you're going to fill all those needs, you're going to have to do some if, coupon clipping. Depending on which grocery store you're at, look for the little uh, tags that hang off that say, like, you know, buy one, get one free. Like, you get, you, you, But go up and down every aisle looking for what you need. When it comes to wide receivers, don't just go to the wide receiver aisle. Go to the tight end aisle. Go to the pass-catching running back aisle. Go to the kick returner aisle. Go see what's out there. If you're the Chiefs, you're you're like, I need a box of cereal and I need bacon, and and because I got some friends that are going to be here on a morning and I got to be able to to feed them. And then you go there, you get the two, you go home. The Panthers could be in the, in the grocery store for a while, listening to '90s hits. Would they be better served, as opposed to paying one of these guys a lot more money? Would they be better served to just draft someone at 33 or 39? It depends. That's what you got to explore. You got to mm-hmm. explore how much money they want. Yeah. Because sometimes somebody like like a Gallup or a Williams might be like, hey, I, I need somewhere where I can have a role to bring my market back to where I think it should be. And in some cases with – I don't know what their contract situation is. They might be, hey, actually the, the Chargers are paying me a good amount of money this year. I need somewhere where I can go catch passes. Well, it could be that, or maybe Carolina's looking in the sense of, you know what, if we're not competing this season, if we have a pretty good friendly contract, a team that, hey, you know what, we need a wide receiver because we had an injury in its trade deadline. Hey, how about that fifth-round pick or, or and something this, along those this lines? This is probably the more likely thought process for them. How much does this person help Bryce Young? There's that too. Right? If if Mike Williams, you feel a jump ball guy, is is what he needs, mm-hmm. there might be a high number they're willing to pay on a short-term deal. If you feel like you need separation downfield and you have a healthy gallop, maybe you do go that way. And maybe it's just everything about Bryce Young, which it should be anyway. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Guess what, everybody? DraftKings is here. The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. I'm Tim Donnelly for DraftKings Sportsbook. And now you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. It is so nice to be back. We were in D.C. for last week, and I stayed into the weekend. Uh, and, and in D.C., you don't have this ability. So don't take it for granted, North Carolina. Enjoy it. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D with no spaces, and bet $5, that's all you have to bet, you will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets when you place that $5 bet. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Uh, There's obviously a a giant tournament coming up that everybody could be placing wagers on. Uh, Underdogs tend to do well in that tournament if you find the right one could be lucrative that's up to you to go find the right one download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD that's Tim D with no spaces and bet five dollars to get two hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Tim D the crown 
is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. More of The Drive with Tim Donnelly coming up next. We have to set the podium. Who amongst the four teams in the ACC from the state of North Carolina had the best week, the worst week, and everything in the middle? Stick around to find out. It's bow time. Finally lunchtime. I'm starving. What's that? This? This is the Bow Jingler from Bow Jingles. With the same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries. The same. Huh. Well, I've got a PB&J. Yeah. That's not the same. A crispy fish fillet dusted in Bo's famous seasoning. With cheese and tartar sauce on a fluffy bun, the Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's Bo time. There's no time like Bojangler time. Time to stop whatever you're doing and head over to Bojangles to try the Bojangler fish fillet sandwich. You heard right, the Bojangler fish fillet sandwich. A perfectly seasoned, light, flaky, wild-caught Alaskan Pollock fish fillet sandwich. For a limited time at participating Bojangles. Make it a combo and add Bojangles seasoned fries and legendary iced tea. Hungry for Bojangles but in the mood for something different? Then it's Bojangler time. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My old spice is missing! No! <laughs> You're gonna feel a puff of air. Jong's optometry okay. has set their sights on staffing up. Try the next line. Hey, Kim, can you tell our two o'clock we're running 15 behind? Sorry, we're a bit backed up today. He needs an optometric technician to keep an eye on it all. Where are the dilation drops? Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Adam Golden studio with my man Dallas Spruill from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. We always talk about tons of stuff like roofing and siding, but I want to talk about my favorite drink at the Aluminum Company, the Easy Breeze. It just sounds very tropical. Well, at the Aluminum Company, the Easy Breeze is a way to convert your screen porch into something that's more usable. Problem with screen porches is in the spring you get the pollen, and, and in the wintertime it's too cold, and you, know, you don't really get to use that screen porch as much as you'd like to. You're talking to somebody that does a podcast from his screened-in porch. And it was only 20 some odd degrees a hey, few weeks ago. You cut the heat on, you have a little one of those little box heaters out there, maybe grab you a cup of coffee and a blanket and, and you set up and, and that's a good day outside. I had a cup of something. Uh, Dallas Bro, the aluminum company of North Carolina for the easy breeze and everything else for the exterior of your home. You can hit them up online, aluminumcompany.com. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It's time for the podium. We do this every single week. Just because basketball season is nearing its end doesn't mean we stop doing the podium. Uh, We take the four teams from the state of North Carolina and the ACC 
and we say who had the best week, who had the worst week, and everywhere in between, right? There's off the podium because not everybody gets a trophy here on this show. Uh, there's the gold, silver, and bronze. This one might be kind of predictable, especially all the way at the top. Uh, but let's start with off the podium. Wake Forest is off the podium. Yeah, makes sense. They did win a game at the ACC tournament. They look good doing it. And then they lost. And then they missed the tournament. And then they did the Wake Forest thing that we've been talking about all year, which is showing how good they could possibly be, showing how good they are when they play their best, and then looking like that team didn't exist the very next game. Um, it's brutal that they missed the tournament with how much talent they have. It's brutal that they missed the tournament knowing that regardless of who they got matched up with in the first round, I probably would have written their name on the second round. Um, it's, it's brutal knowing that they missed the tournament, but they missed the tournament. And who do they have to blame themselves? Too many collapsing losses after big wins. You beat Duke, you storm the court, you lose your next three. You, Look good in, in your first game on Wednesday at the ACC tournament, and then you fall apart on Thursday. It's it's a common theme. I feel bad for the individuals, but as a team, I don't know who you blame. What I will say is I believe they could all come back. Obviously, the portal is a thing. Heck, NC State is riding a heater right now. LJ Thomas, one of their reserves, didn't play a huge role this year, but played in 30 games last year. Today it was an, it was revealed he's going in the portal. So you never know, but if Wake Forest wanted to run it back with most of, if not all, the same guys, they have that ability. That's off the podium. Bronze. Bronze goes to Duke. They lost to NC State in their first tourney game. And how many times do you think we've thrown the soft word at Duke this year? Um, more than I can count. A lot. Let's be real. They didn't lose the state. State took it to them. I know the score was kind of close. I feel like state was like, you know, we're going after these dudes. It it did feel like they, you know, I talk about when you're the underdog and when you're a uh, ten seed against a two seed, ten seed's going to be the underdog. Uh, when you look at the betting lines, NC State was the underdog. I talk about finding your slingshot, right? If you're going to beat Goliath and you're David, you need to figure out what your slingshot is going to be. What's the thing you're going to do so much better than the opponent that that's going to be the difference. How do you sneak attack? What's your slingshot? It did feel like state was like, I think, I think if we pop them in the nose, their eyes will, will water up. You know what I mean? It's like, I think if we hit them, I think, I think we're the tougher team. I think we could bring the fight to them. And even though Filipowski proved how skilled he was 28 and 14, um, you know, a whole bunch of free throws, a whole bunch of crafty buckets near the, 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 the rim. It did feel like the whole time State knew at any point, you know, a haymaker might end it. And and that's not good, right? When other teams are sensing that they're the tougher team and then utilizing that to beat you, that's not good. Do we have this clip of John Shire here? As Dennis gives me the hold on, wait for it. Did I not put it in there? Which one you want? Tell me. Uh, reacting to Duke's setback against NC State. Let's see if he. Let's see how quick Dennis is uh, for me putting him on the spot on air. I've got the thumbs up. Here's John Shire. Disappointing loss for us. We wanted to make a run at this thing, and uh, coming off of Saturday, um, you know, we've been able to spend a lot of time on ourselves for the first time, and you know that didn't translate fully clearly. You know, NC State is playing the best basketball they've played probably, and uh, you give them credit. They're talented. Uh, when you're playing in the postseason, teams don't want to go away. You have to make them go away. And um, overall, like I can go through the details of the game. I think, I think for us though, it's about the the competitive fire you need to have in the postseason. It's about the competitive fire you need to have in the postseason. But we were told, Tim, that yeah, they got bigger fish to fry. Oh, they're not playing for ACC ch championships. They're playing for Phoenix. They're playing for Final Fours. That's what that's what Jeremy Roach told us. John Shire even said some things that danced along that same notion. Maybe not word for word, but got close. I don't I don't like the headspace of Duke. What I will say is going out on Thursday means you have a full week to get in the right headspace for, for the NCAA tournament, and they better use every last day of it. You know what I would have done? I would have had a team watching experience of the ACC championship. I would have made them get together, sit in like a team room, and watch that 
almost as you know cruel and unusual punishment. Like you want to, you want to not show up on Thursday. Cool. Let's watch these other two teams that are right down the road from you play for an ACC championship. Let's watch the confetti come down. Let's see how much this hurts because if you show up and you do the same darn thing in the NCAA tournament, you're going to watch someone else have all the fun again. Bronze, Duke. Silver goes to North Carolina. Uh, they, they, they at least won a couple games before losing to NC State. They at least got to, you know, enjoy D.C. I don't know if they took in a tour the monuments uh and and there's still a one seed there's still a one seed they still get to play close to home in charlotte that the you know dave Chappelle has a great line because he turned down like 50 million to do another season of the Chappelle show and uh the line is what's the difference between like 80 million and 130 million he's 50 million that's the only difference he's like I, my house still really really nice when i go to a restaurant i can always order the most expensive thing on the restaurant like the difference between having 80 million and 130 million is just 50 million. All right, it's just a bigger number in your bank account. What's the difference between UNC now and what UNC would have been if they won the ACC championship? An ACC championship. That's the difference, right? They would have had one more thing on their resume. They would have had one more trophy on the mantle, but they still would have been a one seed. They still would have been playing in Charlotte, most likely. They still would have had the, a similar draw. They still would have been the same in a lot of ways. So I, you know, maybe they they could be in the mix for a bronze because they lost to the same team Duke did, but they won a couple, and and you know they 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 just don't have the ACC championship, so they get to be silver. Gold, <laughs> surprise, surprise. North Carolina State Wolfpack. This is a one week award. It's not cumulative. It's not season long. So all they've done over the last week is have the greatest ACC tournament run in Atlantic Coast Conference history. By the way, they're the only second men's basketball program to win five games in five days and win their conference tournament. The last one was UConn in 2011, led by Kemba Walker. That's it. That's all. That's it. And by the way, they went on to win a national championship. They did. Cardiac Kemba. A cardiac Pack. I was going to say, Cardiac is a name that's been assigned to uh, a few people throughout history. Uh, cardiac Cats. for the, the they're, It's usually a... Uh, seen cardiac Canes. Cardiac Canes. It's usually a, uh, a compliment. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. That one was, I mean, number one is obvious. We'll be talking about it all. It's pretty all self-explanatory, right? Uh, they get the gold medal uh, amongst many other awards they, they've received over the last 48 hours. It's still amazing just what they did. It is. It, it just, I, I'm not going to lie, I was wrong. Like, I was like, there's no way this is going to happen, right? I, ke- I will say I kept doing the, I wonder when, the, this is a fun run, I wonder when it's going to end. Yeah. This is fun. Oh, this is great. Oh, you know, I wonder when this is going to end. And it just didn't. I mean, it did end with a championship. In no, it's, still, it's still rolling. I mean, it's true. It's they, still they, rolling. They, they still got That's another a very game. good point. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I'm here to tell you about my friends at Fox and Bailey Watch Shop located inside Bailey's Fine Jewelry, Village District location. Old school vibe in there, right? It's it's a, a the watch shop specifically. You go in, you can you can have a drink. You walk around. It's it's decorated great. This is like leather. There's mahogany. It's a really old school uh, um, kind of feel, which makes sense for somebody that has a, a really old school uh, right timepieces, uh, vintage watches. You look at them, the movements inside. It, it's all really cool. And I want to talk specifically about their Hamilton watches selection right now old military inspired kind of uh, motifs and themes but with modern technology to make sure that the 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 timekeeping is on point it's accurate to within a couple seconds a day uh it, it it's it's you feel like you're wearing a part of history without having to uh have it serviced a, a ton they're really really cool uh the murph one of the the models very famous for a particular movie involving space and time travel it, it, it's it's all I have to say is go uh, check it out. The the Bailey's Fine Jewelry Village District location. Go to the watch shop, which is on the right, Fox and Bailey Watch Shop, and and, and ask to see their Hamilton selection. You may not have of of you know they may not be as historic as some of the other or as famous as some of the other brands, but they put out really really quality timepieces, and they have a beautiful selection at Fox and Bailey Watch Shop located inside Bailey's at their Village District location. Check it out and make sure they know we sent you from here at 99.9 The Fan. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, the new guys for the Carolina Hurricanes 
I don't, how long are we going to call them the new guys? They, they might be full-blown earned their stripes canes at this point. Uh, let's talk about their impact coming up after this. At Bet365, they don't do ordinary. They believe that every sport should be epic. Every point, every game, every layup, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. See for yourself when you sign up today. And you'll get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just $5. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. At Bet365, official partner of the Charlotte Hornets. 21 plus only. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543. Or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Terms and conditions apply. What? New scratch-offs are out? That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club, I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Ugh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Toddrick. This month's tickets pack $370 million in total prizes. The Winners Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem killing helpline 877 718 how a busy baker beat back foot pain. Meet Sanja. Brownies, cupcakes, cookies. I love to bake. There have been times when I've been on my feet for at least 12 hours. And that's how things went from sweet to sour. I had excruciating pain in both feet to a point where I had to limp out of the kitchen. So she called up a former foot pain sufferer. Her big sister. She told me, you need to go to the Good Feet store and get some arch supports. Smart lady. It was an awesome experience. Scott took great care of my feet. He's the arch support specialist who fitted her. He was very patient, very knowledgeable. Scott was the man. Now Sanja can have her cake and bake it too. Oh yeah, my feet are very happy now. You're going to have to make some cookies for Scott. I've already done that. Of course you did. The Good Feet Store is in Chapel Hill, near Whole Foods, in Fayetteville in the Freedom Town Center, and in Raleigh in the Midtown East Shopping Center. Book your appointment today at goodfeet.com. The Good Feet Store. Hey, Dennis Cox here with my friends over at the Law Tigers. The Law Tigers, Tobacco Road, Harley Davidson, Shiny Side Paint, and your Carolina Hurricanes. They're all teaming up together to give the ultimate Canes fan a custom Hurricanes 2023 Harley Davidson soft tail motorcycle. It's an absolutely gorgeous bike. Now, you only have a couple weeks left in order to enter because it's going to be given away live on the ice April 5th. You just might win. You have to enter today. Do it now. Go to KaniaxBike.com. That's KaniaxBike.com for your chance to win this custom painted beauty of a bike. Do it now. Enter today. KaniaxBike.com. By the way, you want to come see the bike? Come to the Garner Carolina Ale House for the Canes Watch Party that's there tomorrow night. The bike's going to be there. I will be there. You should be there as well. That way you can actually see the bike that you are trying to win. Again, the Carolina Ale House watch party at the Garner location tomorrow for the Canes game. Jump, come see the bike. It's going to be an absolutely great time. Go to KaniaxBike.com for your chance to win. Law Tigers, North Carolina's motorcycle lawyers. Law Tigers is a network of independent law firms who are members of the American Association of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Law Tigers is not a law firm. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Don't look now. Jake Gensel is starting to do exactly what he was asked to do when they signed him to the Canes and the trade deadline. And they traded for him. He's creating a ton of chances. He's fitting in. What was, what was that little hmm? I was, just, I was just thinking the fact that look how good he played yesterday alongside Ajo and Jarvis. They've played four periods of hockey together now. Yeah, good. Like, it's, but those three, it's like it's it's the hockey IQ is through the darn roof. Yeah, but still, it's like the 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 chemistry was almost mm-hmm. instant. There was a moment I know Aho didn't score, but Jarvis is bringing the puck just crosses the blue line. Hence Getzel in stride, who like one touch pass to Aho, who's like going towards the net. It's like tic tac toe, and Aho gets a great scoring chance. And then uh, uh, Forsberg made a great save for Ottawa. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> like what? Whoa! What? Wait a second here. What? It- it, what is this? It is I funny. like it. A few times on air I've made the comparison that when when a few of the lines for the Canes really get going, it looks Brazilian soccer like. It's it's you know, just tap passes, one timers, setting each other up. It's the beautiful game. 
And uh, today I was sitting in my, my cubicle down there, and I heard, I don't even know who it was, but they were talking to Adam Gold down at the other end of the hallway, and they said, watching them play is like watching Brazilian soccer. And I'm like, yep, everybody is seeing the same thing when, when they get to tapping it back and forth, and the, the defense always feels like they're one step behind. It looks like peak Brazilian soccer. We're talking either like the way back or – Ronaldo or the first Ronaldo, not the Ronaldo everybody knows now, or Ronaldinho or whoever it is. They just they're just really, really good at being one step ahead of the defense. And that's what the Canes look. That's what they've looked like over the past few. But uh obviously Gensel plays a, a big part of that. It's not just Gensel. You know, Dennis brought it up. It's the three newest Canes. Now that now that Michael Bunting has been sent out, the three newest Canes are are Gensel, Kuznetsov. And Orlov. And if you look at the last few games. You can throw Brendan Lemieux into that mix, too, now that I think about it. Throw Brendan Lemieux in the mix. He plays a little bit of a different role, but hey, I, it's it's valuable nonetheless. Um, Dmitry Orlov had four points against Toronto. Four. Two goals, two assists. From, from a fire hydrant defenseman. <laughs> He's completely turned his season around. Right. And, and, and we knew it was going to take an, an onboarding process. Was, you know, he had to go through HR. He had to, you know, learn the system uh, metaphorically is what I'm saying. Like it was going to take a while to get used to the canes for him uh, because the, the defense is kind of so unique and they asked to do so much. But once it clicked for him, it clicked in a big way. And now he's playing really well. And what that's allowing him to do is the other things that make him special. Right, I think early in the season, when he was still figuring out the defensive scheme, he was still figuring out how to move within that scheme. He was less inclined to maybe, you know, freelance a little bit offensively. Right, go get himself in position to score because there was so much energy on the other side. Now he's like, oh no, I know I'm supposed to be back there, so I can do this. I know how far I can push it. You end up with a, a four point game from Orlov. Um, let's look at Kuzi. Like, By the way, real quick on Orlov. Yeah. You're talking about trust that he's earned from Rob Brindamore. Mm-hmm. Late on that game Saturday against Toronto when they needed a goal, and I think they're actually on the power play. He put Orlov out there. Feeling like it. it wasn't it wasn't Feeling just it. like Shea or Burns or even Slavin. It's like put Dimitri out there. Feeling it. He's completely turned his season around. Yeah. Kuznetsov may have completely turned his career around. <laughs> Like you want to talk about turnarounds, where he was, and I'm not saying he was not a good player, but where he was personally, where he was off the ice, the opportunity he's been afforded, he's playing really well, and it's and it's, it he's just, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. You can tell he's really happy to make the right play, right? If that means he's scoring, great. But if that means he's doing one of those touch passes if that means he's getting in front of the goal he's really excited to make the right play and that's contagious and then there is there is Gensel fitting in perfectly scoring game winner on Saturday in a shootout um fitting in seamlessly whether he's with uh Kuznetsov and, and Natchez whether he's with Aho and Jarvis what whoever it is it seems like he's already one of the gang which which matters right he's he's like a great um i don't know bass guitarist or something right you drop you drop a great bass guitarist into any team or any any band it's it's it could change the sound a little bit but but the great ones are going to fit in regardless and and that's kind of what he's doing right whoever the lead singer is he's just down there doom, 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 making it making it his own while fitting in with the band Right, because you you can't you can't come with a bass guitar and think like I'm gonna take this show over. Right, wait till wait till they hear my bass line. It's it's I'm gonna be a superstar. You have to come in kind of like with what's their vibe? How, how do they want to play? And then you can can ramp it up from your own spot. And by the way, I should point this out. I'm the least musical person you know. Uh, that little doom da doom da doom. That's all I got. That's the most. That's the best musical instrument I've ever played. That's all you need. Did I ever tell you about the? Uh, the elementary school uh, music teacher that blatantly insulted me? No. My mom was a uh, teacher at my elementary school, and it was a school where you had to rent your instruments. And, like, not everybody could afford to rent the instrument, right? Some people are in different situations, whatever. Um, so we rented a saxophone because I wanted to play saxophone. Partway through the year, uh, the music teacher went to my mom and asked if we could take the saxophone that we rented and give it to someone with talent. 
I was I was in like fourth grade. <laughs> so when I go with musical analogies here on the show, feel free to go like that one doesn't make a lot of sense, and I will completely agree with you because we've known since I was in fourth grade that uh had very little musical <laughs> musical ability. Which the funniest part of the story is my mom never told me that until long after I gave up playing. Of course, she was like, "No, he's a, he's going to do it. He wants to do it." Um, but suddenly she like hated our music teacher and we were just, we're just like, well, well, why do we hate the music teacher all of a sudden? We didn't know he had blatantly insulted me to him, uh, to her face. Uh, but suddenly it was like, oh, we got to go watch the fifth grade music festival. Stupid Mr. Blank. (laughs) We're like, what is going on here? Uh, but my point going back to the analogy is Gensel has fit into the, the band perfectly. Koozie fits into the band perfectly. Orlov, after taking a while, fits into the band perfectly. Take a bow, Don Waddell, right? I said this at the trade deadline. Don't say we need a goal scorer and just go get any goal scorer. Find the guy that fits your culture, fits what you need from a a talent perspective, fits what you need from an attitude perspective, fits what you need from a contract perspective. Get the perfect fit and give up what you need to to go get it. It's exactly what he did. Enjoy the run because it's coming, right? Is it going to be perfect? No. Are there going to be obstacles? Yes. But Don Waddell, try to enjoy it because you put this whole thing together, and I think you did about as well as you possibly could. Now it's up to the team. It's up to the players to go finish it. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friends over at Miller Lending, and that includes Gordon Miller. Uh, I was up in, in D.C. this weekend, and, and you know I don't know about you. Anytime I'm talking with someone from out of town, it always comes back to like real estate and oh, moving here. You, you always want to imagine, right? Well, what's what's the price here? What's the price there? And what I can tell you is that with with rates where they were a couple years ago and rates where they are now, if the the timing has made you move, <laughs> it gets pretty darn frustrating every time you hear the rates everybody locked in a couple years ago uh, in like 2021, right? You know, everybody got down under three, and you're like, great, I'm. Seven. Well, if you're seven, what you want to do is bookmark the phone number to call Miller Lending because as soon as rates drop, as soon as they get below where where you think you can take advantage of the market, they can help you do that. Just because rates are up right now doesn't mean you should be planning to pay those for the entirety of your 30-year mortgage. Be ready. Be prepared with a no-closing-cost loan from Miller Lending to take advantage of a dropped rate as soon as they drop. Uh, If rates drop, refinance with no cost is basically basically what I'm telling you. No cost, no fees out of your pockets. Plan for it so you can take advantage of it and get your rate down as soon as possible. Uh, Miller Lending wants to help you do that. Give them a call. 919-447-3377. That's 919-447-3377. Or you can go online at MillerLending.com. Once again, that is MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender. NMLS number 250-2146. We'll be back with more of the drive with Tim Donnelly, including after all that talk of the ACC being down this year, five teams in the tournament dancing. I just want to enjoy this for a minute. Five ACC te- teams in the tourney next. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Want a truck? You're in luck because it's Ram Truck Month at John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. We're not talking just 5, 10, or even 15% off. We're talking 20% off all new Ram 1500s, excluding TRX and Tradesman Package. 20% off all shiny new Ram 1500s. It's time to get off your keister and get to Heaster for your new truck. We'll serve it up with personalized customer service from our team dedicated to providing a seamless buying experience. 
experience. Hurry to John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. Hey, North Carolina, it's Victoria Vodnecker here for BetMGM, and they want you to happily root for some upsets with BetMGM. Download the BetMGM app or log into your existing account to spin the March matchups wheel and receive a 10 through 16 seed team for the tournament. If your squad makes it to the final 16, you'll win a share of $100,000 in bonus bets. The best part? The game is free to play. BetMGM has arrived in North Carolina just in time for every big tournament moment. Enjoy same game parlays, signature bets, live bets, and so much more with the BetMGM app. Make sure to spin the March matchups wheel before the tournament begins and see which college squad you're riding with. If your team goes on a run and is one of 16 left, you'll split $100,000 in bonus bets with any other winners. Only at BetMGM, the king of sports books. See BetMGM.com for terms. 21 plus only North Carolina only. New and existing customer offer subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Is your heating and air system ready for hot weather? Call Newcomen Company today to schedule a routine maintenance and ensure your system is operating at peak performance. Become a Comfort Contract customer to receive priority service and a 15% discount on service calls and repairs for HVAC and plumbing work. Newcomen Company has served the area as a carrier factory authorized dealer for more than three generations. Turn to the experts today. Call 919-862-3000 or find us at NewcomenCompany.com. Newcomen Company and Carrier, your comfort is our business. Hey, hey, what do you say? John Forsland here for my friend at Buffalo Brothers. What a great time for sports. The College Hoops Tournament in hockey is in the home stretch. I call games in Seattle and around the country, but when I'm back in the triangle, I head right to Buffalo Brothers. Make sure you visit Buffalo Brothers for all the big games. Always great specials like half-price appetizers Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 6. Dine in, carry out at all five triangle locations and online at buffbrothers.com. Aw, man, now I want wings. Hour of the Drive brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. The the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I have to ask, explain what's going on right now with this rejoin music, Dennis. A uh, ticket sax man, the sax man Jack Black. I uh, let's I say the guy who's supposed to be playing the saxophone can't do it. I can't play the sax. Exactly, <laughs> ticket sax man. Uh fifth grade me, fourth grade me. Apparently, the worst saxophone player on the planet. And you know what's the best part? I uh, so if you were listening, I, I my my own. Elementary school music teacher said, I have no talent in the sax, uh, in the saxophone, I should say. Um, I then transferred schools. We moved across the country like two years later, and I told the, the new school, like, I've been playing saxophone for two years, and they put me in, like, an advanced saxophone something or another. Uh, and then as soon as I started playing, they were like, right, let's move you back to the beginner. And uh, so I've had multiple schools tell me, not a musical individual. Luckily, I was kind of coordinated, and I played sports because music was not going to make it happen for me. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The ACC, stronger heading into the big dance than any of the bracketologists thought. Eat that, Joe Lenardi. Take that, bracketologists. Maybe you have to go back to bracketology school to get your bracketology uh, degree again. Oh, they might get three schools. They might get two. We're talking five schools and a snub. UNC, one seed, West Region. Duke, four seed, South Region. Clemson, six seed, West Region. That means they weren't even really a bubble team. They were kind of smooth no, they're in there. firmly locked in. UVA, 10 seed, Midwest Region. NC State wins the championship of the Atlantic Coast Conference. 11 seed, South Region. And Pitt was close enough to feel snubbed. How about that? Now, the funny part is, this is one of the most storied and successful conferences in, in college basketball history. And I am now dancing around as if getting five teams into the tournament was some kind of big dramatic victory. So even they've conditioned me to have low expectations for the ACC. We used to celebrate nine or ten teams getting in to the, the tournament from the ACC. Now I'm rubbing five in the face of Joe Lenardi. But, but 
it does show that these teams are good, right? NC State's run kind of shows the special of the ACC, which is any of these teams is good enough to beat anyone in the country on any given day, and sometimes on five consecutive given days. And the reason why that matters is is it leaves the ACC battle-tested. That has always been my take. When it comes to the Atlantic Coast Conference, it's always been the, the foundation that I build all of my opinions off of that going through an ACC schedule, I'm talking about from first conference game through the tournament, it gets you ready for the high octane, the, the, the high pressure, the high intensity postseason because that's what the ACC is. College basketball matters in the ACC. You can go back when all this conference realignment starts. We did a segment. Uh, you can find it on our YouTube that literally just said college basketball, ACC basketball has to matter. Has to. And the reason why I say that is because it does matter to us. It does. And and with that comes atmospheres that are more electric, right? It comes uh, arenas that are more electric, events like the NCAA or the ACC tournament for NC State, which are more electric. And then when the ACC or sorry, the NCAA tournament ratchets everything up, the ACC is used to being in those situations. So of these five, now I need them to go overperform their their seeds and go win in the tournament. And yes, that goes for you, State fans. Your tournament, it's not done, right? So we want to hear from you. NC State fans, we'll we'll open up the 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 phone lines for you to um you know to the winner goes the spoils. This is your turn to boast. This is your turn to brag. This is your team to let us know how you're feeling. Heaster Automotive Group hotline open to the uh, the North Carolina State faithful, or heck, if, if your team lost and you want to vent, we'll, we'll open up to you as well. 919-860-5326. We have an hour and 10 minutes of show left. We'll try to hear from a few of you. 919-860-5326. Heaster Automotive Group hotline. We want, we want your reactions to the NCAA, sorry, ACC tournament. I'm going to make that, that confusion a bunch more. If you're at the bell tower, <laughs> on Hillsborough Street, Saturday night celebrating. Let's hear about it. Let us know your vibes when Michael O'Connell's shot was in the air. Yeah. Uh, when you thought it went long and left and then it banks home. Uh, do you know what I respect about Michael O'Connell? What's that? He didn't over-celebrate that. He didn't He didn't throw like the, that's what I was trying to do. It was just a little low-key flex of his muscles, like, hey, I gave it a shot. It went in. We're good. I need... <laughs> I need the ACC to all have that kind of self-awareness and recognize five teams in the tournament might not be the greatest week of all time, might not be the greatest year of all time, but it gives you a shot to put four teams in the Sweet 16. It gives you a shot to prove everybody's been overlooking you, right? That's kind of been the consistent for the ACC over the next however many or the last however many years. Disrespected by the national media, not given the high seeds, but then so often you're left playing a lot. So often you're left uh, kind of the last one standing, if you will. Uh, Let's go to Andrew in Chapel Hill. It is notified to me that he is a state fan. Uh, So on the Heaster Automotive Group Automotive Group Hotline, we're taking ACC uh, tournament reactions, 919-860-5326. Andrew in Chapel Hill, what is your reaction to the uh, the 5-for-5 tournament? Uh, Tim, thank you for taking my call. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pure euphoria. (laughs) <laughs> I got grandparents. I'm a fourth generation state grad. Uh, I've got a lot of fun memories from my grandparents of Everett Case, Norm Sloan, Jimmy V. To see Kevin Keats get his, and uh, 37 years later, it just feels like a lot of the wounds of the past have finally healed. Uh, Thir- it was awesome. 37 years is a long time, and especially in college uh, college sports. So you're exactly right. I, th- I think the family stuff is kind of the coolest, right? Like when your parents were waiting for this and, and now you were waiting for it, it, it does feel like that euphoria was pretty aggressive. Yes. So it was just an awesome experience. I mean, an old ACC game too. I mean, don't get me wrong. You'd take beating anybody, mm-hmm. but to beat Duke, UVA, <laughs> and UNC in the final three, that was pretty special too. So, Andrew, anyway. we appreciate the call. Thank you for calling in. Uh, we'll go to Charlie in Nightdale. Next up on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline, another state fan. Uh, Charlie, what's your reaction to the 5-for-5 the five five tourney? 
I get to brag to every <laughs> single member in my family. Okay, well, let my me ask grand- you this. What, what, what kind of guff did you get over the last however many years that, that's been pent up and built up that you're ready to unleash back? So my dad graduated from Carolina. Mom graduated from Carolina. Sister graduated from Berkeley. My brother is a Carolina fan. My grandfather pulled me <laughs> in in 1987 when they won the last ACC championship and pulled me in as a state fan. There you go. And actually, you know what? Berkeley is now a ACC rival as well, so you can talk trash right yes, to that one are. as well. Uh, yep. And her hu- her husband is a Notre Dame fan. Oh, you, you have the world's uh, least expected <laughs> ACC family of all time. Half a, no- half a Notre Dame, a Berkeley, <laughs> and then State and Carolina in the same household. But for at least the right now, you are the champion. So uh, congrats and, and talk your champion, trash. I champion, but there's only one thing that we all have in common. What is that? We all hate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the unifying force. Appreciate the call. Uh, he's hey, from Keister Automotive Group Hotline, still open, 919-860-5326. We'll take one more before the break. Uh, we'll go to Jonathan in Chapel Hill. Jonathan, thank you for calling in. What's your, your uh, take on the ACC tourney? Uh, I'm a bit of a back of road slut. Mom went to Carolina. Dad went to Duke. My sister went to State. Okay. I used to live in Wake Forest. So my take is this. Um, I'm stoked that State made it. Um, and also I have a question for y'all. Okay. Uh, I was wondering, did you notice that Keith did anything really differently with the X's and O's? Or do you think it was more about just the team decided they weren't going to take no for an answer? Uh, appreciate the call. I'll give you a, a quick answer before we hit break. Um, I think he was kind of forced into defining some roles. And and the reason why I say that is like when DJ Horn is hurt, Jaden Taylor knows he's going to play a bigger role. Uh, when when DJ Burns is playing as well as he is and, and there's no reason to save his kind of fatigue level or prepare him for anything else, you know what his role is going to be. He was going to be an offensive role in every single game. Um, Michael O'Connell was one of the few kind of level-headed Casey Morsell. Like, their roles were a bit more defined day in and day out. I think maybe it's because they were playing every day. It felt like it was one continuous game. But it didn't feel as kind of herky-jerky. It didn't feel as like, you know, this guy's expected to do a lot. Next game he does nothing. Then he's expected to do a lot. I don't know if it was intentional. I don't know if it's me retroactively saying, like, they won and my brain is trying to find something. But uh, it did feel like their things were a bit more more consistent. Uh, we'll open up the phone lines for the next hour. So if you want to call in, you want it to react, Heaster Automotive Group hotline, 919-860-5FAN. That's 860-5326. We'll mix in calls and the starting five coming up next. Right now, however, I want to tell you about my friends over at Window Nation. It's March. The weather is changing, and you need to change the way you're thinking about your windows. You need to to understand that you could be sending dollars and cents through your energy bill right out your windows, even when they're closed, right? When they're leaky, when they're drafty, when they might not be as energy efficient, when they're not stopping the sun as well as it could you might be throwing dollars and cents literally right out your closed windows. Let them explain more. Show the science behind how awesome their windows are from Window Nation by setting up a free, no obligation quote and demonstration. Uh, Right now, they have a deal where if you buy two windows, you get two free, plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. Window Nation's professional installation teams have over 10 years of experience. They can install your new windows in a wildly efficient one day or less. Window Nation's windows also come with a lifetime warranty. So give them a call to set up your your demonstration and quote now, 866-90-NATION. That is 866-90-NATION. Or visit windownation.com to schedule windownation.com. We'll be back with more of your calls and the starting five coming up next. Our state's future begins with our students. That's why the North Carolina Education Lottery has contributed over $10 billion to education. Through scholarships, school construction, support staff, and pre-K programs, lottery dollars move our state forward, helping students become the best versions of themselves. Visit movingncstudentsforward.com and share how your student or school community has benefited for a chance to earn $2,000 for your story. 
Must be 18 to play. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Wow. Check out all the great deals right now on brand new 2024 vehicles at John Heaster Chevrolet. Like 3,000 off a Malibu RS or 4,000 off the Silverado 2500 High Country. With a 2010 or newer Chevrolet trade-in, you can get your hands on an Equinox LT for up to 5,500 off. A Blazer RS up to 7,000 off. Or a Silverado RST or 1,500 custom for up to 9,000 off. Get off your keister and get to John Heaster Chevrolet in Fuquay Verena. Together, let's drive. Your new Academy Sports and Outdoor store is now open in Nightdale with great brands at the best prices. In here, you'll always find the gear you need to do what you love out there. Get it all at your new Academy Sports and Outdoor store in Nightdale. Here's another remarkable success story from QC Kinetics. This one from Chad, who hurt his knee at the gym one day, and it just kept on hurting for months. From my high school football and wrestling days, I already had a little bit of damage in there, but this just sent it over the edge. Chad tried traditional treatments with no improvement. When he turned to the non-surgical regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. It was really fascinating how they did their work, and the science behind it was very intriguing, and it works. Extracting the cure out of my own body blew my mind. It's like I'm brand new again. It was fantastic. That's because the QC Kinetics natural biologic treatments use your body's own healing power to restore damaged tissue in your your hips, shoulders, back, and knees, providing long-lasting relief. Now I'm back at the gym. I'm 100% feeling great. If you're tired of suffering with pain from arthritis or injury, call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. In Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. It's bow time. Finally, lunchtime. I'm starving. What's that? This? This? is the Bojangler from Bojangles. With the same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries. The same. Huh, well, I've got a PB&J. Yeah, that's not the same. A crispy fish filet dusted in Bo's famous seasoning. With cheese and tartar sauce on a fluffy bun, the Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can, and it's bow time. There's no time like Bojangler time. Time to stop whatever you're doing and head over to Bojangles to try the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. You heard right, the Bojangler Fish Filet Sandwich. A perfectly seasoned, light, flaky, wild-caught Alaskan Pollock Fish Filet Sandwich. For limited time at participating Bojangles. Make it a combo and add Bojangles seasoned fries and legendary iced tea. Hungry for Bojangles but in the mood for something different? Then it's Bojangler time. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Looks like I get to do the weather today. It's the pollening season here in the state of North Carolina. It's going to be a little bit warmer to, uh, today. Or maybe not as warm today as it was yesterday. But nonetheless, still sunny outside. It is going to get a little bit chillier tonight, and it's going to be a little cooler for the next few days. But again, it is pollening season, so expect pollen everywhere you go here in the state of North Carolina. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb & Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombAndCompany.com. 5 o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones is up 75 points to 38000 790 market update brought to you by the good feet store ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle come to the good feet store and experience the difference discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities it's five o'clock time to serve up the biggest sports stories of the day here comes your starting five the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It is time for our starting five, so let's go ahead and start with number five. I got five on it. 
Number five is hearing from state fans and other ACC fans as they react to the ACC championship in five games in five days and beating the top three seeds and having the greatest ACC tournament run in its conference's history and punching their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Uh, so for that, we've turned to our Heaster Automotive Group hotline. The uh, the phone lines are open, 919-860-5326. We start with Chase and Clayton, uh, who it says in my notes here is a state fan. So, Chase, how does it feel to be a state fan after that uh, week and weekend? Oh, my gosh. It's a sigh of relief. It's a sigh of relief, Tim. Um, have you ever, have you guys ever seen the movie Trolls? I uh, I have. I have, I have a, a soon-to-be three-year-old at home, so I've, I've seen all of those movies, but yes. Okay, okay. So the plot, of course, for the first one is that, you know, you have this, this state of gloom, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden you get hit with this state of happiness. That's what I felt like NC State coming in and just doing their thing, and just it's just, you know, you, 37 years. I mean, I think that speaks for itself, but... You know, you have so much uh, expectation or lack thereof until this happens. And I remember having this group text um, when uh, Mike Mac Daddy McConnell hit that <laughs> hit that three to save not only our season but Keith's career and just with with NC State. And um, man, it was just magical. I, I, I don't know what other way to put it, but you know, I just really appreciated that and just thank NC State and the players and the coaches for. For giving that experience for me, because that's for my lifetime. That's something that's the first time it's ever happened, or first time I've ever experienced it. So it was a great, great feeling. Appreciate the call, Chase. I, I love a good movie reference. So I think what he's saying is uh, they've got this feeling. I'm not going to sing, uh, but there is a song that would that would appropriately fit the emotion that he was describing from the movie Trolls. Uh, back to the phone lines, Aaron in Gardner on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline. Thank you for joining us. What's your take on the ACC tourney? Uh, as someone who doesn't really watch much basketball, mostly ACC and NC State, like, people are saying this 83-type feeling. Like, how how should we expect this team to play against Texas Tech? Like, i am not sat down and watched a single Texas Tech game. I think I watched them when they played Houston, maybe, because I enjoy watching Houston. But I don't want us to, as NC State fans, to feel like we're going to breeze through them and then just run into a wall. Or especially the seeding we drew, we have to see Big Bad Kentucky in the second round probably. So, like, and Robert Dillingham giving NC State fans nightmares. So, like, I don't know, like, much to think about, you know? Uh, I appreciate the call. I'll respond to it this way. Um, The good news is... It was pretty obvious at the the ACC tourney, and we were there walking around and, and in the locker room post game, that that team is not listening to us at all. It was pretty obvious that you know the the outside opinions weren't affecting them. So uh, if they're going to keep it rolling, they're going to have to keep the exact same emotion, the exact same vibe that they had in the ACC tourney. Is Kentucky really good? And would that be your second round matchup? If most likely, if you beat Texas Tech, yes. Is Dillingham a beast? And is Reed Shepard an NBA guy? Yes. Uh, however, I will say this. You're not, you weren't going to go through an entire NCAA tournament without playing any good teams. Oh, yeah. Like, you're going to have to upset some people if you want to go. Like, if you're talking about winning a national championship, you're going to be having to beat teams along the way. You just have to show up ready to play. And Texas Tech's a Big 12 school, and they're overrated. <laughs> that, to be in the Big 12 and have one more win than an ACC team that needed to, needed to win the tournament to get in, I think that says a lot. Uh, I think that says a lot. We'll take one more here before we uh, we move on in the starting five. Marshall and Nightdale on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline. Marshall, what's your take on the ACC tourney? I thought it was uh, pretty awesome. My dad played ball at Duke, and my brother and sister went to Carolina. And uh, so I went to ECU, but I pulled harder for state than uh, I think I've ever pulled for any Duke team because – of the way they were playing and the attitude they had, I, 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 you know what we're I'm seeing a lot of is the the state fans in in families divided are finally feeling like like they've got something to say. You, you know what I mean? Uh, well, Duke got a problem because I heard about what Roach said about after mm-hmm. the game. It was just another ACC tournament yep. game. So um, he's got to get them boys straight over there at Duke. So I'm going to be pulling for state from here on out. Thank you very much, Marshall. Thank you for the call. That's that's something I'm going to emphasize real quick. 
Uh, it does feel like the state fans in families that have multiple allegiances. I mean, right now getting some things off their chest. I t- my family is a bit bit divided, right? Uh, many of you know my cousin is Mike Glennon, who uh, jumps on the Pack Therapy podcast, jumps on this show with us all the time, former quarterback at NC State. Um, but I also have in, in my family a former UNC baseball player, a former Duke uh, football player, and, and uncles and cousins and everything are, are, are kind of separated. And I can tell you right now, the day after State won the ACC championship, there was a uh, there was an email and a family email thread from from Mike pointing out that there were Duke and UNC alums in, on the email thread, and, and he was uh, he was pretty pleased with the way the NCAA or the ACC tournament went. So, uh, so I think that's happening in in families all across the triangle right now. Just like, hey, you know what you've said all those years? Ha! Uno reverse card. Boom. Take it. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. That's number five. Let's get to number four. We are the four horsemen. Woo! Mike Williams, Mike Gallup, a couple of veteran wide receivers set to visit the Panthers today. I'm going to use a, a recent signing to explain to you what this means. Chase Young visited the Panthers. They talked to him. They talked amongst themselves. Guess what happened just moments ago? Chase Young signed with the New Orleans Saints. They're bringing in receivers. They're bringing in edge rushers. They're bringing in free agents to talk. That doesn't mean they're going to sign them. right? I think if they signed Mike Williams, I would be a little confused because I look at Bryce Young and I say he's better at throwing the guys that create separation. Mike Williams is a very, very good wide receiver, very, very expensive wide receiver, but he's a jump ball guy, right? He's a contested catch guy. He doesn't necessarily need to create separation because he's open even when he hasn't separated. I don't think that's the best way to utilize Bryce Young. Look at the guys he played well with in college, and it's guys like Jamison Williams who run away from their defender and build space. So, So I don't think Mike Williams is the best fit. I have absolutely zero problem with them bringing him to town to chat. Matter of fact, it'd be weird if they didn't because they desperately need wide receivers. Mike Williams is available wide receiver. And I would also say this. Everybody has a price. That is true for like, you know, everybody has a, a, a price that can be so high they can't turn down an opportunity, but also reverse, right? Every team has a price where it's like if you're willing to play for so little or if we're willing to if your team is willing to trade you away for so little of course we'll do it right so if Mike Williams comes in and I, I don't know his exact contract situation but if the the Chargers are paying him a bunch or if he says I've made enough money over the last 4 or 5 years that I just want to go somewhere well, where I'll be uh you know playing for a coach I like maybe he likes Canales playing for a quarterback I like maybe he likes Bryce um and I'm willing to play for X amount of little dollars. All right, fine. Yeah, do it. If the price is right, everybody has a number. For Mike Gallup, it's a little different. Michael Gallup, former Cowboys wide receiver. I think it's a health thing. I don't think his price will be too terrifying to a team that doesn't have a lot of cap space. But if he, if if the injuries over the years of which he've had he's had plenty, rob him of being the deep threat, the downfield guy that that he has been in the past. I don't think he really fits what what they need from that that kind of vet wide receiver spot. So it's a health thing for him. Bring him in, have your doctors look at him, and, and let that kind of make the decision. We have more of the drive, more of the starting five coming up after this right here on 99.9 The Fan. But first... Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Law Tigers. The Law Tigers, Tobacco Road, Harley-Davidson, Shiny Side Paint, your Carolina Hurricanes, they're all teaming up to get the ultimate Canes fan a 2023 Hurricanes Harley-Davidson Softail Motorcycle. It's like a custom Hurricanes 2023 Harley-Davidson Softail Motorcycle. It's an absolutely gorgeous bike. I'm not going to lie. If I could win this bike, I'd be, I would have entered in as many times as I could, which is one just by going to KaniacsBike.com. You can win this bike. It's really simple, guys. KaniacsBike.com. It's going to be given away in just a couple weeks, April 5th. That's a Friday on the ice, live at the game. So you have to enter in now today. Enter today, KaniacsBike.com. By the way, the bike is going to be on display at the Carolina Alehouse Watch Party at the Garner Carolina Alehouse tomorrow, 730. I'll be there. The bike's going to be there. Come on over. Watch the Canes game. Check out the bike. Talk to the people over at Tobacco Road Harley-Davidson. 
I'll be there as well. Come check out the bike. You can enter to win it over there as well. But go to caniacsbike.com today. Law Tigers, North Carolina's motorcycle lawyers. Law Tigers is a network of independent law firms who are members of the American Association of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Law Tigers is not a law firm. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. will be back with the remaining three in our starting five. Stick around. Hey, it's me, your future you. You made bad credit card moves, got no rewards to use. Should have compared cards with the nerds and got the cash back you deserve. Now you have to stand to see your favorite band while your friends all got VIP wristbands. <laughs> Don't make your future you hate you. Compare and find top credit cards today with Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet, finance smarter. What? New scratch-offs are out. That means new chances to become a North Carolina Education Lottery Winners Club member. Yeah, in the Winners Club. I'll reinvent myself. I won't go by just plain Todd. I'll go by Toddrick. I'll get a gold jacket, play my saxophone again. I'll stop and smell the flowers. Call my mom more. Oh, wrap it up, Todd. It's Toddrick. This month's tickets packed $370 million in total prizes. The Winners Club awaits. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning range from 1 in 2.93 to 4.24. Problem killing helpline 877-718-5543. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app today using code NEWNC. Then place your first bet of $10 or more, and win or lose, you'll receive $250 in bonus bets. Open to new users in North Carolina who are 21 or older. Terms and conditions apply. See Caesars.com backslash promos or the promos tab in the app for full terms. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagamenc.gov. Tribal Casino Gaming Enterprise is a licensed operator by the North Carolina State Lottery Commission. Adam Golden Studio with my man Patrick Day from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. Earlier I asked you, what do you want to talk about? And you said everything, but you want to get more specific than just everything. I want to talk about the gutter helmets because last time I was here, I remember you saying your wife made you get in a bucket of a tractor to clean yeah. out gutters. Uh-huh. I'm hoping you have our gutter helmets. Uh, well, not yet. But, all right. Well, uh, I'm coming to see you. All right. Well, <laughs> the, the bucket of the tractor is perfect for me. I just fit right in it. It's very cool. Well, we do sell gutter helmets. We can come out to your home and do an assessment of your gutters. If your gutters are in good shape, you could use your gutters, and we can put the gutter helmet right on your existing. Mm-hmm. But if they're in bad shape or you've got rotten, deteriorated wood, we can also handle all that as well. So just give us a call. We'll come out and do an assessment of your gutters and get you some pricing and on, right on the spot. Everything for the exterior of your home, and you don't do anything for the bucket of our tractor, correct? But I will get in it with you to help you install no, you the won't. new gutter helmets. There's only room for me in the bucket of the tractor. That's Patrick Day from the Aluminum Company of North North Carolina, you find them at AluminumCompany.com. Guys, if your bedroom stats need help, let us help make your year a slam dunk. If you're suffering from ED, know that you're not alone. At Arise Urology Clinic for Men and Cary, we can help you get off the bench and back in the game with Core Wave Therapy. We're the only ones in the area to offer this exciting, cutting-edge technology that brings new hope to men relying on pills or painful injections. Call Arise Urology Clinic for Men and Cary at 919 or visit corewavetherapy.com. Paid for by government.com. Did you hear? A recent stash of $10 Gold Liberty coins from the 1800s has been found. These gorgeous gold coins are as bright and shiny as the day they were struck in the late 1800s, and less than 50 of these gold coins are available. Coin experts are calling this gold find an incredible opportunity. Call 1-800-473-3993, and you are guaranteed a $10 Gold Liberty coin minted by the U.S. Mint in the 1800s. But with extremely limited availability, you must call now. These Gold Liberty coins from the 1800s are still in uncirculated condition. That is history you can hold in your hand. To learn more, call 1-800-473-3993. Call now and you'll receive a free American Coin Collector's Bonus Package, a $40 value, free with every order. Call 1-800-473-3993 now to secure your $10 Gold Liberty Coins dated from the 1800s before they sell out. That's 1-800-473-3993. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Let's jump back into the starting five. Uh, And coming up next, we have number three. One, two, three. Duke UNC tournament draws. Where are they headed? Why are they headed there? Uh, North Carolina not going far. Number one seed in Charlotte. 
Yes, playing in the West Region in Charlotte. The West, they are the number one seed in the West Region in Charlotte. Well, it's make it make sense. It's west of the the Atlantic Ocean. Sure, <laughs> everything's west of something, right? Uh, it, it, this is kind of a like losing the ACC championship game is kind of no harm, no foul for UNC. They're still a one seed. Uh, they still get to play close to home. They still have a nice draw. They're playing the winner of Howard Wagner in a play-in game. Um, so they're set up kind of nice. They're set up kind of nice. I think one of the more interesting things about their draw is Arizona's in their region. Yes. Which means Caleb Love is in their region. Former UNC Tar Heel and Pac-12 Player of the Year, by the way, Caleb Love. And – the, the guy that made one of the most iconic shots in UNC history. Yes. So that one could be interesting. So I'm rooting for this to happen. That one could be interesting. Yeah, and that would happen in the Elite Eight. Yes, it would be it would be the their their regional final to mm-hmm. go play in, in a final four. But with them being, I believe, the one and two seed, right? Correct. So that they're chalk favorites to match up against each other in the Elite Eight. For pure entertainment factor, I hope that happens. Uh, Make R.J. Davis and Caleb Love guard each other. Oh, man. ACC Player of the Year, Pac-12 Player of the Year, former teammates. I remember when Duke hosted Arizona at the very beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. I think Caleb Love had written on his shoes, like, forever a Tar Heel. Yep. It's like, okay, all right. (laughs) Forever until we play in the (laughs) NCAA. Until until there's the turning (laughs) on the line. Um, Duke, speaking of, they're a four seed. They get to play in Brooklyn, which I think is is nice for them. It's a little home game. Because it, it's not, but it is, right? They get to kind of do all of, like, that. we're going on the road. We're, we're going to go, you know, us against the world. And then they'll play in Brooklyn where the entire stands will be filled with Duke fans. It's it's like a little bit of both. Um, they're playing against Vermont, which is a, a – they're a dangerous team. But, you know, you got to handle your business, so handle your business. Uh, it's it's a, a nice little matchup for both of them. That's where they'll be going in the NCAA tournament. By the way, they've been to the NCAA tournament a lot, Vermont has. This is their third straight what, NCAA what, tournament. Yeah, what is that conference up there? It's like the, the American East. American East. There you go. They, they've been, the, they've been the, there. Are they the Catamounts? They are the Catamounts. Yeah, they've got a nice little uh, basketball history. Oh, yeah. Their, their coach has been there. They, they, they've got some things cooking up there. Uh, it's cold up there, Vermont. That's number three. Let's get to number two. Just the two of us. Canes go 2-0 and over the weekend. Have you seen two more different wins? Massive come from behind game. They need two goals from Ajo in the last minute 30. They go through the overtime. They win in a shootout. That's against Toronto. The next day against Ottawa, 7-2. It, does, it strikes me a little happy Gilmore-ish. That was so much easier than putting. I should just make it in one shot every time. Right after the, the Ottawa game, it's like winning by five goals in regulation is so much easier than all that effort in overtime and shootout. We should just do that every time. Yeah, that's a good thinking, Happy. They've had a couple of these 7-2 wins recently. Well, they've, they've got some more offensive firepower than they're used to, and sometimes it's like, I don't know, just keep scoring. You know what I like? And, and this is a whole debate. It's a whole thing. I know some other coaches have, have had opinions and fans have had opinions. They had a power play late in the game, sent the fourth line out, right? They, they, they were like, eh, we don't, need, we don't need to send out the good guys. Let's it's let like, them get some reps. Yeah, Brendan Lemieux, you're out there on the power play. Yeah. You, Kokanyemi, Nason, which you're, you're normally out there anyway, but let's put like Pesci and Chatfield, whomever, out yeah, there. Let's, Why let's, not? Let's get some reps. Let's let's see if we, we've got something here. Uh, it was it was a very good weekend for the Canes. Not much time to uh, to to celebrate it because you have a game essentially every other day for the next month. Uh, you just it, it picks up. You're moving towards the postseason. Yeah, games tomorrow, Thursday, Saturday. Am I getting that right? Friday, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. Correct. Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. That's what it was. Uh, so yeah, no 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 time. Conveyor belt, cranking, treadmill, set to thirty. Keep running. Uh, but this weekend was a good one. That's number two. Let's get to number one. Go one. NC State just had the greatest run through a, a ACC tournament in ACC tournament history. Now, I will say part of that is because, you know, back in the day you couldn't win five games in five days because the tournament was only three days long. Um, but beating the number one seed, the number two seed, and the number three seed 
doesn't happen very often, right? It's it's you need things to line up that way. Uh, we've we saw uh, Virginia Tech did it like five years ago um, on, on their way to a win, but they didn't play on Tuesday. They started on Wednesday. They weren't a ten seed. They were a better seed. Like this was the least predicted, most unusual, most impressive run through an, an ACC tournament, tournament tournament in the the ACC's history. Think about that. Think about it. It's unbelievable, truly. And and when you look at the things that were stacked against them, I, I, I don't even know if uh, <laughs> I, I don't even actually no, I'm not going to say that. They did believe, but we were in the building for much of it. We we're at Capital One Arena. We're covering the tournament. It did feel like everyone outside of the people that were wearing the jersey and the 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 coaching staff were walking around going like, "This is a really cool story. I wonder when it's going to end." This is a really cool story. I wonder if they'll get to the point where it'll save Coach Keats' job. This is a really cool story. They're going to, you know, always have the memory of upsetting so-and-so. And then it was just they kept winning, they kept winning, they kept winning. Do you know what moment for me really was like, oh, this is a this is a Team of Destiny thing? When DJ Burns, at the end of the shot clock, had the ball kicked to him, top of the key. DJ Burns had not made a three-pointer all year. And he, it's not like he chucked it up. He stepped in like he knew it, like like this was a, a just another day at the park. That was a bad whistle. I'll try again. There we go. Like he just caught it, lefty, stroked the jumper from the top of the key, drilled it. The big guy knocked down the three. And you know what he didn't do? He didn't put on a big bleep-eating grin. He didn't, like, pound his chest. He didn't throw out the three goggles or the ice in the veins. He just backpedaled like, yeah, I hit threes. That's what I do, even though it's not. And I went, oh, this state team's got something cooking. They got all the vibes. They, the things are breaking their way. That was in the ACC championship game against the number four team in the country, the number one seed in the tournament, and and they rolled from that point forward. Give them a lot of credit. It's the greatest run through an ACC tournament that I've ever seen uh, and, and that anyone's ever seen. And I'm, I'm saying that with my chest. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friends over at Capital Financial Advisory Group, and that includes Coach Pete. Coach Pete has been revolutionizing the retirement planning game for decades, and with the use of his GPI index, Coach Pete can help you maximize consistent growth, protect your money from year to year, and build an income switch for you to flip on when you need to and want to. And want to. With the help of Coach Pete's financial fill-up, you will receive guaranteed income for life. And even in the face of challenges like long-term care or losing a spouse, you will still receive that check. All of these things are exactly what you're looking for in retirement, and it all starts with Coach Pete and his fantastic fiduciary planning team over there at Capital Financial Advisory Group, analyzing your current financial plan to help you build in the three core components of a proper plan. That way you can find confidence to retire with the clarity and peace of mind you deserve. Call or text today to get your very own GPI index score and see how this valuable tool can work for you now and along your journey through retirement. Call right now and Coach Pete will do this all at no cost if you tell him I sent you. Call 800-691-3215 or text TIM, T-I-M, to 600-700. Again, that's 800 691 Three two one five, or text my name T I M to six hundred seven hundred, and Coach Pete and everyone at Capital Financial Advisory Group will take care of you. Make sure they know we sent you. We also need some contestants for the numbers game right now. We have avenged sevenfold tickets on the line today. That's the prize. It's the live is but a dream. Live is but a dream. Live is but a dream. Yeah, see, that's that's why you should read this copy ahead of time. Live is but a dream. But a dream. North American tour. Part three with special guests Poppy and Sullivan King at PNC Arena on Friday, March 29th. The pair of tickets will go to the winner of the numbers game. If you want to play, call in now. 919-860-5326. That's 919-860-5326. Numbers game coming up next. 
At Bet365, they don't do ordinary. They believe that every sport should be epic. Every point, every game, every layup, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. See for yourself when you sign up today. And you'll get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just $5. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. At Bet365, official partner of the Charlotte Hornets. 21 plus only. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543. Or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Terms conditions apply. Is your heating and air system ready for hot weather? Call Newcomen Company today to schedule a routine maintenance and ensure your system is operating at peak performance. Become a Comfort Contract customer to receive priority service and a 15% discount on service calls and repairs for HVAC and plumbing work. Newcomen Company has served the area as a carrier factory authorized dealer for more than three generations. Turn to the experts today. Call 919-862-3000 or find us at NewcomenCompany.com. Newcomen Company and Carrier, your comfort is our business. Hey, hey, what do you say? John Forsland here for my friend at Buffalo Brothers. What a great time for sports. The College Hoops Tournament in hockey is in the home stretch. I call games in Seattle and around the country, but when I'm back in the triangle, I head right to Buffalo Brothers. Make sure you visit Buffalo Brothers for all the big games. Always great specials like half-price appetizers Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 6. Dine in, carry out at all five triangle locations and online at buffbrothers.com. Aw, man, now I want wings. Want a truck? You're in luck because it's Ram Truck Month at John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. We're not talking just 5, 10, or even 15% off. We're talking 20% off all new Ram 1500s, excluding TRX and Tradesman Package. 20% off all shiny new Ram 1500s. It's time to get off your keister and get to Heaster for your new truck. We'll serve it up with personalized customer service from our team dedicated to providing a seamless buying experience. Hurry to John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? I haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenix Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The patented key ingredient is something called Testafin, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again, at work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text KETTLE to 321-321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now, and we'll include a bottle of Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text KETTLE to 321-321. That's KETTLE to 321-321. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It is time to play the numbers game. The contestants that we have lined up for today are Matthew in Raleigh and Mark in Clayton. Uh, As always on a Monday, we have a question lined up to see uh, which answer we like best, and that person will get to go first. Uh, We'll start with, oh, by the way, Avenged Sevenfold tickets are the the prize today. Uh, They're coming to PNC, so you want to go ahead and... uh, Check them out. Matthew or Mark, one of the two, will win tickets here in the numbers game. Uh, Matthew and Raleigh, the question to find out which answer we like best and that person gets to go first is what was the highlight of your sports weekend? It's Monday, so you look back at the weekend that was. Has to be sports-related. What's the highlight of your weekend? Uh, So I bet $5 before the ACC tournament started that uh, NC State would win it, and I won some money. Wow. That is a fantastic bet. Uh, let yeah. me ask, did you bet $5 <laughs> on every team to win the ACC tournament? <laughs> I did not. All that right. Even better. There you go. Well played. Because I actually, earlier today, I said nobody believed outside of the, the team. I should have taken that back. Nobody except for the team <laughs> and Matthew believed that the NC State would win the game. Uh, That's right. Mark and Clayton, we go to you. What is the highlight of your sports weekend? Uh, when you look back at the weekend, what was your favorite part sports related? Well, it's tough to beat that, but it has to be my Wolfpack winning ACC tournament, beating Duke and Carolina. Come on. I I, I think that is a fantastic answer. However, I'm always looking for ways to decide which answer we like best. And when you say it's tough to beat that, you kind of give me an out. So I'm going to Matthew and Raleigh. Matthew, you get to go first. Uh, are you there? 
Uh, yes, sir. All right. The way this works is I'm going to read some categories and you pick which one you like. The categories are NFL World of Color. These are all players with colors in their name. Uh, NFL St. Patrick's Day, kind of a, an Irish theme there. Uh, NBA Under 35, all jerseys number 35 or less. And NHL Canes and Whalers only. Uh, I'll do NFL World of Color. All right. All of these players have uh, colors in their names. I will give you the name and the team. You'll give me the jersey number as quickly as you can because there's 30 seconds on the clock. You do have one pass. Any last-second questions? I'm good. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. Antonio Brown, Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 82. Incorrect. Raheem Blackshear, Carolina Panthers. 25. Incorrect. Antonio Brown, Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, man. 18. Incorrect. Raheem Blackshear, Carolina Panthers. 24. Incorrect. Antonio Brown, Pittsburgh Steelers. Pass. Uh, Roddy White, Atlanta Falcons. Uh, 25. Incorrect. <laughs> Raheem Blackshear, Carolina Panthers. Oh, jeez, man. That was the most Monday edition of of – from the moment I said Antonio Brown and you just went, ah, oh, geez. I, 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 I know. I could – I blank. I could I could see the smoke coming out of your ears as just the wheels were, were cranking. Um, A.B. with the Steelers wore number 84. Raheem, oh, yeah. Raheem Blackshear with the Carolina Panthers wore two numbers, number 20 and number three. So either would have counted. And Roddy White mm-hmm. with the Falcons wore the exact same number as Antonio Brown with the Steelers, number 84. Uh, Yikes, that was tough. That's an offer. That's a zero. However, by way of going first, you still have a chance because a tie goes to whoever goes first. <laughs> so sit on the line. I hope it doesn't hold up, but we'll see if it does. Uh, Mark and Clayton, are you there? Yeah, man, I'm here. All right. You need to get one to win. Uh, oh, the, okay. the categories remaining are NFL St. Patrick's Day, NBA under 35, and NHL Canes and Whalers only. Which would you like? Mm. NBA under 35, okay. the, under 35 jersey number, I guess. Yep, so these are all jersey numbers that are under number 35, less than 35. Uh, so I will give you the, the player in the team. You give me the jersey number as quickly as you can um, because there, there obviously is a uh, time limit of 30 seconds. You do have one pass if you need it. Any last-second questions? No, I'm good. All right, time will start when you hear the horn. Allen Iverson, Philadelphia 76ers. One. Incorrect. Robert Parrish, Boston Celtics. 22. Incorrect. Allen Iverson, Philadelphia 76ers. 11. Incorrect. Robert Parrish, Boston Celtics. Pass. Uh, Kyrie Irving, Dallas Mavericks. Twenty-nine. Incorrect. Allen Iverson, Philadelphia 76ers. Six. Incorrect. Robert Parrish, Boston Celtics. 44. Incorrect. I'm not often speechless. Speechless. Yeah. Alan Iverson wore number three. Robert Parrish wore number double zero. Kyrie Irving with the Mavs wore number 11. That's a double over. Mark, we we appreciate you for playing. Bruh. <laughs> Call back in. You can play again. Dennis, you look like you were you were wearing that one kind of difficult. I, I, I just I, – I, I... I got nothing. Clearly, I, the mojo for state fans to not carry over from Saturday. I'm, I'm not sure the air has been sucked out of a numbers game more than when Allen Iverson, Philadelphia 76ers, was first, and he threw number one out there. I could hear everyone in their cars just go. <laughs> that one was tough. We appreciate everybody for playing. Mark, or sorry, Matthew and Raleigh. Matthew, you are the winner. Congrats. Man, I. Did not want to win that way. It's 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 by default, but a win is a win. You get to see Avenged uh, Sevenfold. Uh, they have a tour coming to uh, PNC Arena Friday, March 29th, with special guests Poppy and Sullivan King. Enjoy the show. All right, sweet. Thanks. Just uh, don't tell anybody how you won the tickets. Just told them that you won the tickets. <laughs> uh, and that was the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. You know what? I have to say it. We had been on a heater. How many five for fives have we had recently? I was bragging about how smart our listeners were, how they were getting better at playing the game, how how you know everybody was in a rhythm. That rhythm came to a screeching halt. That hurt. 
Allen Iverson. I'm, I'm not. By the way, I'm not making fun of any listeners. If you call in, we still we we root for everybody. We want high numbers. It's just a double O for always catches me by surprise. Always catches me. Always disappoints me a little bit. So, the best news about the the numbers game is, you know, it's much more like like Major League Baseball than it is the NFL. The next day, we almost always have another another shot. So, uh, we'll try to do better tomorrow. Feel free to call in. Same time, we'll we'll have some um, some tickets for you to uh, to enjoy. So be sure to check that out. In the meantime, the wait is over. I'm Tim Donnelly for DraftKings Sportsbook. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. You can legally bet on all your favorite sports anywhere. Anytime for a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code TIMD, that's my name, Tim D, with no spaces, uh, and bet $5. All you have to do is bet $5, and you will instantly receive $250 in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Uh, You can check out the the first round of a pretty big tournament coming up. Those games start tomorrow. We encourage you to... uh, so check them out, right? Just see if there's a bet you like. See if there's a team that, that you can uh, uh, place a little bit on. Just just check it out, right? Always bet responsibly. Uh, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD. That's Tim D. And bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Tim D. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8-777-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus. North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, Kevin Keats, last laugh. Oh. Yeah. That's how that's how he laughed right there. Cha-ching. Coming up next right here on The Drive. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Wow. Check out all the great deals right now on brand new 2024 vehicles at John Heaster Chevrolet. Like 3000 off a Malibu RS or 4000 off the Silverado 2500 High Country. With a 2010 or newer Chevrolet trade-in, you can get your hands on an Equinox LT for up to $5,500 off, a Blazer RS up to $7,000 off, or a Silverado RST or 1500 Custom for up to $9,000 off. Get off your keister and get to John Heaster Chevrolet in Fuquay Verena. Together, let's drive. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers, like people who want to save up to 25%. Take Julie. When her old car insurance got too expensive, do you think she ditched her car for a pair of rollerblades? No, she found affordable coverage with Direct Auto. And you can too. Get a free quote at directauto.com or find a store near you. Direct Auto. Stop compromising. Keep driving. Savings vary. Terms apply. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Tim Donnelly here, and I want to tell you about Fox and Bailey's watch shop located inside Bailey's Fine Jewelry in their Village District location. They have all of the watches you could possibly be looking for. It's a space that pays tribute to the early days of Bailey's Fine Jewelry and some of the watches They pay homage to the early days of classic vintage timekeeping. We're talking pre-owned and vintage Rolexes. They have a large selection, the largest selection of pre-owned and vintage Rolexes 
in North Carolina. They have an Omega boutique on the other side of the store that is the second largest of its kind in the country. Omega has been the official timekeeper of the Olympic Games since 1932, so when every second counts, Omega, well, they always come through. Go ahead and check it out. It's all at the Fox and Bailey Watch Shop and their Omega Boutique located inside Bailey's Fine Jewelry at their Village District location. I'm a huge fan of awesome timepieces, and that's why I love Fox and Bailey. This hour of the drive brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Ready to step into a lifetime of and ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle. Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Kevin Keats, last laugh on everyone this year. Looking at the future of the NC State basketball program, guess who's leading the way now? The same guy that's been leading the way for the last seven years, Kevin Keats. His job was being talked about a lot. We were the ones talking about it, too. We, we were one of them for sure. And and the ACC tournament was a chance for his team, his coaching staff, and everybody to have his back. And boy, did they. Do you know what is, like, the best part about it? He didn't leave it to chance, right? He didn't say, like, you know, I hope Boo Corrigan, the AD, and I hope the administration, and I hope the big money donors, and I hope they all respect how I run my, run my program. He went out and said, eh, I'm not going to leave it to chance. I'm going to go win this whole darn thing. He handled it himself. The contract handled it himself. The contract. What I mean by that is there was a clause in his contract that said if he wins an ACC championship, it's an automatic raise, 400 grand, automatic bonus for winning the ACC championship, 100 grand, automatic bonus, uh, I believe it was uh, either 10 or 25,000 for making the NCAA tournament, automatic two year extension. That's all triggered by winning the ACC championship. So the buyout goes up. Everything goes up. It's no longer even a conversation. Right? He didn't have to ask anyone. Right? He didn't have to uh, go have a meeting. He didn't have to hear them say uh, how they've decided his future and how it would go. He went out and said, uh, I don't want to deal with all that. Let's just go win the whole darn thing. And then he did it. And the players did it. And the players played for him. They heard it. They had to have. You know, sometimes I think the, do you know what's a, a leftover, a remnant of the, uh, a, a remnant of um, like a bygone era? Athletes saying, I don't read any of that. I don't hear any of that. Like 30 years ago, you could say that. Do you know why? Because you had to seek it out. You had to like, go to the gas station and seek out a newspaper stand if you were going to read your press. If you just stayed kind of in your own lane, you could avoid the press. You know what's impossible now? Like, it's in your pocket. It's on your phone. It's it's on every television screen as you're walking around. You're in the a waiting room for something, and it's talking. Like, you can't avoid it. They heard Kevin Keats' job security was on the line, and then they went out and won the ACC tournament in dramatic fashion. And then everybody from DJ Burns, I saw multiple players, guess what they posted after the win? A picture of them and Coach smiling with confetti all around them. That's pretty cool. That's, that's a subtle statement that is, I had my coach's back. Now what are you going to say? And he had my back. Now what are you going to say? Do state fans want him back now? A heck yes. A heck yes. First ACC championship in 37 years. I'd say that gets you some job security. Say the least. But do you know what it's really about now? What's that? Springboarding off of it. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a, I think it was Nick Saban. I think, I think. Don't quote me on it, though. Uh, there's a legendary story about a, a recruit 
who said a coach won a national championship and like before the confetti was done falling, the coach was standing outside the locker room calling recruits, going, we just won the national championship. We have, right, I have every reason to be celebrating, and instead I'm thinking about you. I'm calling you, thinking about how I can win the next one. And it was a big thing, right? You, that's like a, a, you know, how as a recruit do you not feel wildly special getting that call? You know who should have been getting that call from Kevin Keats? People with money. Right? I don't know if you're watching right now. We just won the ACC championship. We just beat number four in the country. We just won five games in five days. And I'm calling you asking for $15,000. I'm calling you asking for a hundred grand to our NIL collective. I'm calling, I'm thinking of you right now. It's amazing because Dave Dorr did the same thing right oh, after they yeah. walked off beating North uh, North Carolina at home. It's like, hey, we need money in the collectives. We need help here. Before you know it, five thousand people to give one thousand dollars each. Money piled in, didn't or or one thousand to give five. I forget what the exact something number. like that. The math checks out. <laughs> a lot of money from a lot of people is what we need. And you know what? You know what the pitch is. The pitch is who is our leading scorer in the championship game? DJ Horn mm-hmm. transfer. Yeah, we got to go afford a transfer. Well, who, who local was, guy too. <laughs> who was the MVP? DJ Burns. Yeah, transfer. Mm-hmm. We need to go afford transfers. Who hit the uh, the shot to force overtime against UVA? Michael O'Connell. Transfer. We need to go get more. Tra- <laughs> like we need to be able to afford these guys. We need cash. If you want that again, <laughs> who set the re- uh, record for rebounds in the ACC tournament? Mo Diara. Transfer. Transfer. I mean, if if you need us to go do it. We need the cash to go do it. By the way, how awesome was that, right? When you're bragging to, to your friends about your program, make sure you know we can do it again with the help of your dollar bills. He can sit there and say, I've done something since Jim Valvano. For the first, first time. For the first time since Jimmy V. And you know what? It feels mighty similar. It does. I, I was thinking about this, right? You're Like, NC State will forever be, be aligned with Survive in Advance. Do you know what that tournament felt like? They weren't surviving. They were like thriving. They were getting stronger. Survive in advance implies like you're 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 beg borrowing and stealing, right? It's it's whatever what you you may be getting more fatigued, you may be having to be more creative, you may be trying to to find a new way to to win. It felt like they were like picking up they were snowballing, right? With each game they got a little bit more powerful. They got a little, they were thriving, advancing. It, it was it was a, a a different way to think of it. And Kevin Keats was getting more confident, right? And the team was getting more confident. And and like we we talked about it earlier, all year we've been waiting for this team to kind of put it together. And I didn't think that like you there you reach a certain point in the season where you're like I guess they're not going to. What a shame, because they still had talent. And, you know, this is not 2020 hindsight. You can go listen to it on the, the, the YouTube, the podcast. We said it into microphones. We have it on wax receipts saying, like, it's a shame they could never put it together. They do have talent. Well, they put it together. For at least one magical five-day stretch, they put it together. Now it's, you know, I almost, you know, I almost wish the NCAA tournament started, like, on Sunday, right? Not not with Selection Sunday, but if, if it's like, nope, just keep it rolling. I understand you're hurt, you're tired. Looks like you might play your best when you're hurt and tired. Uh, you don't want to lose any of this momentum. If they can play the way they played in the ACC tournament, they'll be they'll be an 11 seed that is is rolling on brackets, right? They'll they'll be the 11 seed that's that's jumping ahead. You Which, worry? The, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I say you, you worry the run out of steam. I'm worried that that. Once you stop something that big, it's hard to get it moving again. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right? Like, when you're pushing a tractor trailer, you get it with momentum. You can kind of keep it rolling. But once it stops, it takes a lot more effort to get it started again. Um, That would be my concern. But also, you know, I I said this. Somebody was asking me if they should. It was at halftime of the the NC State-UNC championship. And they said, I should live bet UNC, right? Like, I, I should live bet UNC. And, of course, people come to me for gambling advice because, you know, I, I cover the team. And, and do you know what I told them? I said, logic says, yeah, like UNC is going to come back to beat them. But I'll also say this. 
I thought they were going to lose the last couple of games, mm -hmm. and yet they're here. So I, I'm like, I'm saying, yeah, I, th I think UNC is probably the better team. They're probably going to be able to do some things in the second half. But I didn't see this this coming up to this point. So why would I see it coming now? So now you're asking me, like, are you worried about the the momentum stopping? I'm going, yeah, I am worried about the momentum stopping. But guess what? I was worried about the momentum stopping going into the Duke game. I was worried about the momentum stopping going into the UVA game. I was worried about the momentum stopping at halftime of the UNC game. And it just never did. So, you know, this is what I say when I talk about betting the streak. If you bet on a streak to end, you can be wrong unlimited times, right? But if you bet on a streak to continue, you can only be wrong once. I don't know if I'm ready to bet against the momentum they have rolling. Playing Texas Tech, a Big 12 team, which I am again on the record saying the Big 12 has been overrated all season. That's for the Big 12. I I'm I think I'm I'm likely gonna write them in at least through the first game. Oh yeah, I I filled out my bracket today. I haven't won in the first round. What do you Kentucky in the second round? Yeah, I get Kentucky in the second round. Mm. But you know what they beat Kentucky? That's fine too. I'll accept it. A little emotional hedge there. Oh, you know. It's also because it's Kentucky. Your my, my final four might look like uh well Duke's in the what the, the other part of the, the South region. So that would be an Elite Eight matchup. It so we would can't be. we can't put all the local teams in the final four. Well, here's the thing. Here's what could be the Elite Eight. You talk about local storylines for us. We could have State versus Duke yep. for the second time for, sorry, third time this season. Yep. Second time in, in the Elite Eight. Play. And we also could have Carolina versus Arizona. Caleb Love facing his former team, who who's the Pac twelve player of the year for Arizona. Script writers, you hear it, make it happen. Make it happen. It'd be fun for us. It would be. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Lone Pronto. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Lone Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it all happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value, it's way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money for that home improvement project you want to do this spring or summer. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away. Call now. 919-381-1760. 919-381-1760. LoanPronto.com. 919-381-1760. NMLS 1661781. Subject to lender approval. Equal housing lender. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Coming to a close in just a little bit of time here. Yeah. Which but, go ahead. I say, by the way, we actually uh, do have people leaving comments on our YouTube live stream. Oh, which is something what's going on, everybody do. out there in uh, YouTube world? By the way, Christopher, you talked about Survive in Advance. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, now I want to watch the ESPN film 30 for 30, Survive <laughs> in Advance for the third time. <laughs> third? Yeah. Those are rookie numbers. You need to get those numbers up. <laughs> Watch that thing. Like, there's a few 30 for 30s that I think I might lead the league in watches. That's probably one of them. I have a box set of the originals, like on uh, DVD. My parents, have, a my box parents set of have the box set as well. Uh, I was like, I gotta have. Yeah, that. my brother worked at ESPN, so I think I think it might have been a might have been a perk. But uh, but they they have the 30 for 30s. Uh, stick around for Overdrive coming up next, where we talk just about that NC State's run through the ACC tournament. It's from earlier today, and it, it's a it's a fun talk. It's a fun convo. So go ahead and check that out. That's coming up to Start Overdrive here on 99.9 The Fan. Hey, a little music to send you out. Uh, subscribe to YouTube, 99.9 The Fan. Until tomorrow with three, have a great night, everybody. Your new Academy Sports and Outdoors store is now open.